I'm back, guys. Can you hear me? Did you just waste a hundred thousand box bucks? Let's see. Where is it? Thank you, magical pen. Where's the? Where's? Where'd you spend? Where is it? Thank you, Yuma. Oh my God. Wait, did you redeem a dab? Let's see. Is he lying? <sighs> is he lying? I'll do it right now, I swear. Oh! Okay, let me just scroll down chat. It is so hard to keep up with chat during these, by the way. Thank you, Pen. Thank you, Bird. Okay. All right. Are we ready, guys? A standing dab. I need a cool apron. I have one. Um, somewhere. Oh, wait, I think it's in here. Right by the webcam. Here it is. What the hell? Wait. What? Oh, I didn't know I had another tripod. Well, I do. Sick, dude. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, it's not one that goes over your... It's only one of these, guys. It's only one of these. I hate these ones. These ones, look. Nah. Oh, hell yeah, dude. There we go. What do you think? Looks pretty good, eh? Thank you, Karma Dragon. All right, this thing sucks. I would get my old chef's uniform, but holy shit, it does not fit. Actually, you know what? Just for fun, wave. guys this definitely won't fit because it's a small and I guess I used to wear a small Are you ready Here we go hey it's actually fitting oh shit I'm um, six eight there you go guys what do you think Now, if you're going to say anything, say, yes, chef. <laughs> ah, there we are. There we are, guys. Now, um, now I should just see the optimal way to do this kind of thing. You know what's sad about being a professional chef on Twitch? Um... It's that the cooking streams that are failures do way better than ones that are actually experienced. People like watching cooking to watch someone burn the kitchen down. 
I don't like watching someone that slightly knows what they're doing. It's okay. That's fine. All right. Guys, we're gonna make a big salad. Oh shit. I'm giving my kale a double wash, okay? A double wash. So when I go over there, you guys can still hear me, right? Thank you, Tarantula. Thank you, Bear. Thank you, Nipper. Thank you, Sponge. Thank you, Day4. Thank you, thank you. Yes, epic. I could turn it up a little. Oh, wait, I see it's actually pretty loud. Never mind. Never mind, fellas. Never mind. All right. We gave the kale a double wash. All this stuff is for my garden, by the way. Oh. Okay, one second. Just gotta flip this out. And then flip it back in. Did you guys see that text? I grabbed the kale with paper towel and turned it back on itself. There you go. You can see the progress we've made so far at the cooking show. You see? I gotta go really slow, by the way. Because there's a few shows that I went really fast, and um, uh, yeah, uh, you know, it, it sucks putting, it's, if you're putting more hours of work into the stream than you're actually streaming for, well, like sometimes it's okay. If you're putting like 20 hours in and your stream's eight hours, that's fine. If you're putting like five hours in your stream's an hour, that's a little, that's a little, whew. Oh, I need to sharpen my knife. I can do that while I sit here and, and wait. Oh, sh my God, one second. All right, guys, smile for Instagram. You ready? Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Look, smile for the camera, everybody. Smile for the Come on, everybody smile. Come on. Come on, don't be shy. There you go. There they go. Look at them. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Good job, time. guys. You're all going to be there forever. Okay, come on, come on. stop, stop, on, stop, stop. Oh, my God. There you go. Stop that, stop. Okay, no, no, don't smile anymore. This is just the replay. Okay, now. Now. Wait, I, holy shit. Yes, chef. All right, those are like the only messages I'll be able to see. Thank you, Smoters. Do you guys want to be in this picture too? Are you ready? If I can get you? Where are you guys? There they are. Okay. Oh boy. All right. All right. Let's get sharpening this knife, shall we? Now, last time I sharpened a knife. Actually, you know what? Let's just let's let it play out, all right? Let's let it play out. Ready? 
gave this quite the soaking earlier. All right. Now, chat, by the way, I don't mind this. I'm just stating a fact. You want to know who backseats worse than gamers and worse than drivers? Chefs. You know why they backseat? Because all they know is what they've been taught. And everything else is wrong. You guys ready? You guys ready for the Chinese knife sharpening method? Are you ready? Are you ready? This is going to take about half an hour. All right, you know what? <laughs> I'm done, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, but it looks like I'm just not cut out for this thing anymore. So, um, yeah, I'm going to head out. You guys can do whatever you want. But, uh, yeah, that's it for me, guys. That's it for me. That's it for me. See, this is why I need music. One second, actually. I'm lighting a big old candle. All right, guys. Okay, I have to be able to read chat one sec. All right, there we go. I can actually read. Look, I can read while I sharpen. Oh, my fucking God, dude. All right, you guys ready? guys you ready wait a sec wait wait actually I have a really good idea one second one second While I do this, I'm just staring at the camera. Okay. I have an idea. Where is that thing? Uh, okay, here we go. Watch, I can make these I can make these streams way better, but I had to do it on stream. Okay, you ready? Alright, so we're gonna All right, now how do I... Sup, everybody? Oh, look. Oh my God, this is so hard to do. All right, good enough. Okay. Now we save it. Okay. So wait. Oh. Okay, look guys. I'm looking at chat.
Oh no, stop it. I lost count. You guys are distracting me. You guys are distracting me. Okay, let's do 20 more passes each side. And then we'll switch sides, and then we'll give it the old... We'll give it the old steel. What do you say? I have here a diamond steel, guys. A diamond steel. Okay? Can you say that? Diamond. You know in Minecraft, the diamond, the diamond pick? It's just like that. All right. All right, so... Oh god, what side did we just... Oh wait, we're, we're good. We're even. All right, so 20 passes each side. Here we go. Let's get it nice and wet. Actually, wait. I would ask if any true chefs are in the chat, but you're not a true chef if you have time to watch Twitch. That's just how it is. All right, you ready? You ready, guys? Okay, 20 passes, count them. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Chef. Holy shit, thank you. You can tell if you did badly just by checking. This side's good. This side's good. Bring her to the next wave, shall we? All right, this one's far less gritty, okay? Let's toss this garbage out. I'm gonna use about 800 paper towel rolls, by the way. All right, here we go. This is some gourmet shit, yeah. Totally. All right, is this gonna fucking explode this time? We're good. All right, ready? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
want to cut my winer off. I'll tell you that much. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen. Ah. All right, one sec. Good, 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 good. It's working. By the way, guys, I do know that this method can scuff up the side of your knife, but I've been using this knife for 10 years, so I do not care about it anymore. All right, we good? All right, pretty good, pretty good. Good enough, good enough to do the deed, all right? Ouch. Oh my God. Daddy Bork, can you treat me like a whetstone? Excuse me, broski? Alright. Slow and steady, guys. Slow and steady. Try and make some music out of it. Wait. Will this slip? Doesn't look like it. Let's try, let's try the third method. This is the fancy one that Gordon Ramsay loves. Let's see if we did it. You ready? Let's see if we did the knife justice. Holy crap, we did it, guys. Wow. Oh my god, look. 
All right, I'm just going to put these in a container and store them. Alrighty. Okay, we sharpened our knife. Everyone's happy. Now I could use a few more passes on the steel. One second. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Bakba Soup Cooks. All right. We did it. No, don't be scared. Come back. Thank you, turtle. No, this is not a Wustoff knife. But I'm glad you asked. This is, though. And this is, though. And this is, though. And this is the. <laughs> and this is the. And this is too. Except someone dropped this one at my old job and broke it. And someone dropped this one at my old job and broke it. Can you believe that, Jeff? Wustoff Classic. Look. Wustoff. Classic. I don't even know if you guys could see it, but Mustaf Classic. All right. Okay, guys. Now, let's see how smart chat is. Oh, I stuttered there because, you know. Okay, this knife is a... Chef's knife. Good. Okay. This knife is a... Stabber. A fillet knife! Look at that! Okay, this knife is a... A bread knife! Good, good, good. This knife is a... A boning knife! Good, good! And last but not least, this knife is a busted piece of shit and it's also a chef's knife. And, oh, wait, wait, last but not least, really, though, what's this knife? Everyone knows this, come on. Your mom cuts with this. Got him. Herring knife, yeah. Yeah. Also, Marco Pierre White cuts with the paring knife mainly. I don't know why. No, I'm just kidding. It's because it's comfortable for him. Ouch! Bork looks sexy as in that chef outfit. Just saying, yeah. part of face. Thank you. Thank you, Serbian. And thank you, Turtle. Thank you, Fusion. Thank you for the resub. I can't read your name because it's not in English. Thank you, Smirishal. Well, now we got to cook some stuff. Okay, well, first, all right, so I'm going to, I think first we're going to make a big salad, okay? We're going to make a big salad, a big salad. It's going to be big, as big as my skull. Look. Actually, don't look. It doesn't matter. All right, so first, well, we're going to put this away. I'm gonna put my, we're going to put my whetstone away, fellas. And I know what you're thinking. Fuck, what's the command for the recipe? Broski, I haven't followed a recipe in years. Usually if I look up a recipe, like let's say I'm going to make curry, and I forget what goes in curry. Um, you just need to know the, if you want to cook anything, you just need to know the basics of it. Like um, if you're going to cook curry, 
you know, as long as you have garlic, ginger, chili, um, coconut milk, sometimes, tomatoes, you'll be fine. Yada, yada, yada. Just like, I might, I might make, I'm going to make quite a few things, by the way, guys. Hopefully this will be like a five-hour stream or something. Because um, I want to cook for the, it's, oh my god, it's already been half an hour. Yes! Yes! Cooking streams? Oh my god. I try and stagger them for as long as possible. I'm drinking, it's gross, actually. It's a kombucha ultraviolet. It's disgusting, actually. I love kombucha, but this one's one of the worst ones I've ever had. And uh, it's by Greenhouse, by the way, if you're looking to buy one. What the hell is that emo? Sipping. Yeah, let's get some sippings in the chat. Mmm. <sighs> Sipping. Oh, Chad, you always ask, Buck, how do you have your coffee, bro? Well, and I'm always, I'm never, and I'm always like, well, I'm streaming, so I can't really tell you, bro. But now I'm going to show you guys exactly, exactly what I put in my coffee. Ready? <laughs> all right, first we're going to rinse this out, all right? Then we're going to take my $500 coffee machine. It's called a Mocha Master. Now we know what to think. $500? Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Well, first off, you guys paid me that much, so that's on you. Second off, I drink coffee every single solitary day of my life, so I better have a fucking good coffee machine. All right, so we're going to grab... First off, we're going to grab the the Natural Brown Coffee Filters by, uh, by Melita, or whatever the hell her name is. All right, so we're going to take one of these. We're going to go pop, all right? Now I check for what when I drink coffee, I check for one important thing. I check for Well, it doesn't say it on this. But I check if it has something called you guys might not have heard of this, but something called caffeine, okay? So if it has caffeine, step 1. Second, if you guys don't know, um, I'm this is this in particular is organic coffee. So I drink organic coffee because, if you guys don't know, coffee beans, non-organic and pesticide infused and insecticide infused coffee beans are actually one of the worst. Um, well, it's not that it's like horrible for you, but um, apparently coffee beans actually soak up more pesticides and stuff than than, you know, let's say like a, some random crop like a tomato. Um, so I only drink organic. Gotcha, fellas. I also have the guilty pleasure coffees when I don't feel like caring about my body. All right, but today we're going to feel like caring about my body. All right, so we got our organic Ethica bean coffee. Lush, by the way, lush flavor. So we're going to just eyeball it. Alrighty, there we go. So, you guys ask how much coffee I drink in a day? It's this much. You see? Huh? Okay, so, now, now we go over here. We grab, hey guys, <laughs> we grab um, some cinnamon, okay? Every time, I don't, I don't care what, I do not care what coffee I'm having, I put cinnamon in it. Alright, so, There we go, just like a teaspoon, shake it up. There we go. And that's it. All right, so, excuse me, fellas, coming through. Watch your step, guys. All right, now we fill this with something called water. See, I don't even drink all my co coffee every day. You guys, you guys are destroying me in the comments of co coffee consumption. Look, I didn't even drink most of it yesterday. All right, fill her up. How are you guys doing? That's good. Nice. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Oh, that's awesome. 
Oh, how, oh, for how long? Oh, oh, that's really cool. Oh, no way, that's crazy. Really? Oh, wow, that's nuts. Oh my god, I hate when that happens. Are you kidding me? Really? Oh, holy shit. Well, that's nuts. Okay. Well, good talking to you. Alright, so now we got our reservoir filled. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. Wait, can this camera... Can this camera do... Something crazy? <laughs> oh, shit! Sup, bitches? Sup tonight? Alright, look at that camera. Okay, so... Put our coffee in. And then, one really cool thing that this coffee machine does is as soon as I press the on button, it looks right at me. Ready? I told you. Isn't that nuts? Oh. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy, bro. No way. That's insane. You know where I learned to talk like that, by the way? My dad, as you guys know, I have a disabled father, and he can hardly talk, so sometimes I tease him, and he's like, he's literally saying nothing, and I'm just like, no way! Whoa, really? And he's just like saying nonsense. I'm like, all right, all right, father, I'm done here. See you later. No way, dude. Really? That's unbelievable. Don't put the sad faces, guys. He had, he had it like 30 years ago. Okay. All right, we got my kale, okay? Oh, by the way, my parents are moving back to where I am. You're going to get to see... Actually, I've had my dad on cooking streams before, and it's been fucking hilarious. You guys, and he's going to make a big return. He's going to make a big return. I have, yeah. I don't know if you guys have seen it. There was one time I made... um. So you know General Tao's chicken? I made uh, General Bakta Soup's pork ribs. It was so fucking good. I made it with, um, it, I think it was like a German cream cabbage or something. Oh, no, it was. So it was German. I don't know if it's German. Uh, like when I was in school, I they said it was German cream cabbage. And I was just like, I so I called it that. But I just made some cream cabbage with red onions. Put that there on the side and did some General Tao's pork ribs. And he came in and was eating them. And he was just like... He was, oh my god, it was so fun. He's just like, mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm just dying. All right, so, I'm gonna make a big salad, guys. Ready? All right, so first on the docket is the big salad. Have you guys ever watched Seinfeld? Big salad. All right, so, uh, what am I gonna do first? So, we are going to, uh, where is my strainer? Where's my strainer, fellas? Here it is. Alright, we're gonna strain off a bunch of beans. Who likes beans in the chat? Who likes beans? Crickets? Alright. I like beans! Alright guys, I'm gonna... This salad is the salad I made when I was going to the gym all the time, alright? So, it has a ton of fiber has a ton of protein, and it just has a lot of nutrients in general, okay? I sort of hate the topic of nutrition, because if you guys, if there's anyone that pays attention to nutrition in the chat, you know what I'm about to say. Um, you go on, you go on TikTok or Instagram or Twitter, Hey guys, kale is really good for you. It has tons of antioxidants, tons of different nutrients that you need and micronutrients for your body and its daily needs. All right, next creator. This is bullshit. You do not want to put this in your system. It has tons of, like, it is the worst fucking thing ever. It is literally just a battle on both sides. And both of them are like, this is factually killing you. But the reality is, here, I'm someone that's not brain dead, or I'm not trying to farm, like, brainwashed followers. 
It depends on your body. Shocker, I know. So if you eat this and you feel amazing afterwards, that's good. If you eat this and you feel like shit, that's bad. But that's generally how it works. Just like if you go to a foreign country and you start eating their uh, culture's cuisine and you feel sick, that's why. Because your body's not used to it. Also, like even, even if it has more nutrients and stuff, your body might not get used to it and just make you feel like shit for a long time, feller. For a long time. It just depends on what makes you uh, feel good, you know? You only eat liver and testicles. Guys, we'll, okay, if anyone's on an actual diet in chat, what do you eat? Like, what's your, what's your main go-to meal? This was one of mine, by the way. Liver and testicles. We got protein and veg. We got burrito, burritos. Broski. Eat a lot of peanuts. Ass. Okay, nice. It's one of my favorite meals, too. Oatmeal. I love oat. Oh, my God. Overnight oats. Woo. Hell yeah, dude. I'm drying this. I'm drying the kale, by the way. I got this kale from my garden, by the way. Organic. Right from the backyard, fellers. Um, okay, so... I'm gonna get some beans. One sec. Uh, all right, so we got some... We got some organic garbanzo beans. So I don't pick any particular beans. It doesn't matter. If you, by the way, by the way, this is dead serious. If you want a good recipe that's super nutritious, really easy to make, and it tastes amazing. Now, granted, when I make anything on this stream, one thing I have to clarify every time, and, and people, and this is one of the biggest mistakes with cooking. Just because someone has something in their recipe, like you, you like black eyed peas, but you don't like garbanzo beans. Well, you don't need to put these in there. It's not going to make or break the recipe. Like if there's a if there's a salad with like 30 ingredients, let's say, if you take out one of the vegetables, it doesn't matter. Pepe jam question mark. Um, yeah, I've made kale chips. Uh, yeah, I could put on some music. One sec. I just didn't want to risk it. No, but you 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 guys would be shocked by how many people think that you need to. Um, You need to, uh, oh no, I have no playlists, guys. All right, is this loud as hell or what? All right, here we go. Wait, I'm going to start a search for playlist. Do, 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 do. Alright, is this loud? Stop that. It's not you guys. Wait, you guys are dancing. I want to hear what that sounds like. Oh, epic. It's earthbound. Um... Now, nah, but for real, sometimes, so, you wouldn't, every cooking show I've ever done, I, I'm like putting kale in something and someone's like, I don't like kale. All right. You know, when you make it at home, don't put kale, put like romaine lettuce, just do whatever you want. You know, like, you just have, it's, it's much easier to make these decisions when you know what flavor profiling is. Like, um, anyway, anyway, uh, let's open these up. I'm going to show you guys how to open up. I'm going to show you guys how to open, um. All right, we are gonna open some cans. Has anyone in chat ever done that? You know what, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll just go back to this. You guys wanna check on the coffee, by the way? Looking good. All right. Here you go. Wait, wait. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Come on. I was waiting for someone to backseat saying I was doing it wrong. Dude, no one, no one said anything. You're supposed to open it from the side. Oh my, guys. You're supposed to open it like this, not how I was doing it. Oh my god, not one person. Yeah, this is bullshit, dude. This is bullshit. No one knows how to cook in the chat. Wait, you guys didn't know that? If you if you take it from the top, that's what you're actually supposed to do. Oh. <laughs> well, it's not what you're supposed to do, but it, it makes it a lot easier. Alright, so we're gonna give we're gonna give each bean a tape. There's a brown, there's a there's a green one. Look guys, guys, I need a camera angle for every single thing I'm doing. Okay? So we're gonna make a new one now. You ready? Alright, so we're gonna go up here. We're gonna we're gonna zoom out a little. Oh, shit. Perfect, dude. Perfect, bro. There, look. Oh my god, I got my thing wet. Fellas, look. Put the chat's on my face. All right, so let's taste one. It was just beans, guys. A rat under this cap? Oh no, buddy. Big shiny landing spot. Big shiny landing spot. All right, tastes good. Um, okay. So let's make the dressing. All right, guys. Bean salad. Tell me. Tell me what goes in a bean salad. Tell me. What goes in a bean salad? Whoa, watch your head there, chat. Watch your head. I'm going to drink out of my uh, Kalisto protocol cup. You know what? You guys can make the dressing, but I'm only going to agree on it once it's actually not garbage. One sec. All right, so now, wait, the next part of my coffee adventure, ready? Okay, you see? That's Oliver, by the way. He's my stepson. No, stop looking at the coffee, come back. All right. So now, we got oat milk by Silk, vanilla. I told the fucking delivery guy to not get the sweetened one and he comes back with vanilla. I said, unsweetened. I gave him five stars anyway, but maybe they didn't have unsweetened Bach. Well, maybe they didn't. All right. That's me acting like anything upsets me ever. Was it good? All right, cheers, everyone. <sighs> mm. 
Nice. All right. All right, guys. So. No. guys some ingredients and you're gonna tell me which one okay we need a new camera angle all right so we got rice wine vinegar Apple cider vinegar, we got white balsamic, and we got, wait, what? Oh no! Oh, that's the ones we got. Alright, which one guys, which one should we start with? This is a, a bean salad, a bean salad. Cider, cider, cider. All right, I've seen a lot of, I've seen rice wine, balsamic, balsamic. Oh my God, it, it's, it's, it, this is close. It's between apple cider and balsamic. Apple cider, balsamic. Oh my God, look at them. They're going in. All right, all right. The, the crowd has spoken, balsamic. No, it's balsamic. No ifs, ands, or buts. Okay, let's put it all back. Okay. Let's just make a tester. All right, so let's do. Ooh, here I'll make one of my favorite ones actually. If we're going with balsamic. All right, so this is one of the best salad dressings ever. Ready? All right, so you need some neutral oil. Okay, people, neutral oil. Name some neutral oils in the chat. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use avocado oil. All right, so avocado oil. Here we go. All right. Canola's great. So, okay, to the nutrition topic again. Oh my God, canola oil. Seed oils are like one of the most disputed things in the entire fucking face of nutrition. Um, so yeah, so I, I used to love canola oil. I used to love grapeseed oil. I used to love, and never use vegetable oil. Vegetable oil, woo, no thank you. That, even years ago, that was already a red flag. Um, so, but by, by the way, feel free to use whatever the hell you want to use. Um, I'm going to use avocado oil. It's neutral, yada, yada, yada. It, it, it's great. Avocado oil is the best. It's just expensive, though. All right, so we're gonna do, wait, wait, first, sorry, getting ahead of myself. You guys excite me. <laughs> you guys excite me. All right, so we're gonna do, expired in 2022. Okay, that's not cool, bro. All right, there we go, 2024, perfect. 2024, found one, found one. All right, so we're gonna take, we're gonna take some. We're gonna take some maple syrup. All right, maple syrup, and don't use Aunt Jemima's, or I will strangle you in game. All right, in with the maple syrup. Oh, he's Canadian, dude. The Canadian fucking. The whole Canadian thing that's like, oh, Canadians love maple syrup. No, they don't. No, they don't. I am like one of the only people I know that cooks with maple syrup. Now, when you say loves maple syrup, you're just thinking pancake. Like, your your average brain is thinking pancakes. But, trust me, I hate that I'm Canadian having this conversation because it's dead serious. Maple syrup, absolute god-tier ingredient. God-tier. Uh, really, though. 
And if you come to Canada, I don't know anyone that cooks with fucking maple syrup. So. No, I, I don't even need to read. I already know, like, people. Oh, you do. By the way, guys. You know how normal people have silverware? I have goldware, okay? Alright. So. <laughs> nah, it's just like coated gold. Um, so. Alright. Dijon mustard, maple syrup. Fuck, how much? I don't know, bro. Just, just put some in and then taste it. The most important part of cooking is tasting. All right, so what we gotta do, we're gonna mix it together, we're gonna emulsify it. You can also get some other stuff too if you wanna increase the flavor. Here, just for fun, I'm gonna grab some thyme from my garden. We got some time from the garden. Check it out. Just a little bit. Don't worry. The acidity from the vinegar will kill the microorganisms. Fuck, uh -huh. ah, when you scrape your knife against the butcher block, it dulls it out. Really? Didn't know that. All right. Okay. All right, so time, there you go. All right, so taste the emulsification. That's what it looks like. Ta-da! Mm. There's not much bite to it, and I want a little bit of bite to it, okay? So you add more Dijon. some pepper. Good. All right. Now we're going to add our our oil. Our balsamic vinegar. All right, so you got this dark brown, hoi hoi. Usually, mmm, so good. I'm gonna put more balsamic in, but. So. By the way, the reason I mixed uh, Dijon mustard and maple syrup together, it's a really good emulsifier for bringing the dressing together. So you know how when you're making salad dressing, sometimes they split? It's a lot easier to make a salad dressing when you make an emulsification first or emulsify the dressing into it. So Dijon mustard is a really good binder. Another binder used in like a lot of baking is eggs. There's a lot of really good binders out there, but mustard is a great one. By the way, um, I always like just clearing up some common, like some things that should be common knowledge, but they aren't. And it's why I go on those rants about that cooking classes should be taught in school. Yada, yada, yada. Mustard. If you say you hate mustard, I hate mustard, or I hate, I hate vinegar. Fucking newsflash, mustard and vinegar is in like, oh my, like, if you're in North America, it's in like almost every amazing dish. Some type of acidity is very, very important when you're trying to balance the flavors of um, a lot of things. Like, I used to love when my friends would come over and they'd be like, I'd, I'd be cooking and I open the mustard or the mayonnaise and be like, oh, I hate mayonnaise or I hate mustard. Or, I'm like, oh, really? Okay. 
And then you go to the bathroom and you sneak some in, and then you get them to try it, and they're like, dude, that was the best thing I've ever eaten. What's in there? And I'm like, ha! Ah, it was fucking mayonnaise is the main ingredient. I told you. You are wrong. People just don't give a lot of foods a try, when in reality, they're so turned off by the base ingredient that they don't understand the, uh, the potential that that ingredient can bring to a full dish. And by the way, yes, I always ask about allergies. I'm not an idiot. Like, I hate mustard. You're not allergic though, are you? Nah. Good, good. Go to the bathroom or something. Um, thank you, Prony, for the gifted sub. Thank you, Santi. Thank you, again, Crystal. Thank you, T-Virus. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Telekinesis, Tap, Usagi. Thank you, Body Slam. I can't hear the alerts. Um, one sec. What the hell is this music? I do not know how to do this. Yeah, and sometimes that, yeah, and DG. Okay, is that coming through the speakers, by the way? Wait, is it echoing right now? Um, yeah, and sometimes, guys, don't get me wrong, sometimes. Is it echoing? Yes, okay. <laughs> so, sometimes, some ingredients people do actually hate, and they're not good. Like, a good example is mushrooms. People hate mushrooms just, and it's just because of the texture. Now, what I try and tell to most people that hate mushrooms is that, like, you can still make them work in a dish. If you hate mushrooms, and your boyfriend's making like a lasagna, or your girlfriend's making like a lasagna, and you see they're cut mushrooms, if you dice them up really, really fine in something like a lasagna, they act as almost like they're, like if you have ground beef, like a pound of ground beef, and then you have a quarter pound of mushrooms, those mushrooms are going to be so finely chopped and so small in the end product that they're just going to blend in with the ground beef and just add to that. It's just going to taste like more ground beef, and it's going to soak up all that flavor in there. So where beef is good at soaking up flavor, mushrooms are great at soaking up flavor. When you combine them in something like a lasagna, and you have a very flavorful bechamel sauce and a very flavorful, um, uh, what the hell is the other sauce using there? Um, as uh, so the meat sauce, um, it's really, really just a good combination of stuff like that. But if you're serving like fried mushrooms as a side, obviously that's not a good idea. Uh, so what are we gonna put in this salad? All right, so we're gonna throw in the beans. All right, we're gonna throw in the beans into that vinaigrette just to soak up all that flavor. Boom, baby. So normally when I make this salad, I use red wine vinegar. Um, I use red wine vinegar and some oil and some brown sugar usually. Um, but why I'm not scared of using this completely different tasting dressing for this exact same salad that I normally have is because the dressing is so good, it doesn't matter what ingredients you pair with it, it's going to taste good. Well, okay, it matters. Like if you're throwing in like a ton of radishes and stuff, and, and stuff that actually has like a bite and a sting to it, it's going to make a difference. But um, a... One thing that's good about this, like I'm putting kale in there. Kale's biggest problem is that it's like sort of bitter and tastes like eating grass almost. What that, what that, um, when you have an ingredient like that, it's really good to get something that has a bit of a sweet bite to it. So that dressing will make this taste really good because it'll counterbalance that and make a new good flavor. Uh, anyway, all right, so I'm going to cut the stems off the kale. You don't need to. Well, I mean, you should, but. Watch your head, Chad. Alright. Oh, give me a sec. Couldn't miss the cooking stream. Yeah, welcome, everybody. Welcome. Who's, who's having a great time? Do, 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 do. Me. Hank. All right. 
So, by the way, if you really want to save time, you can just stack up all the kales together, make sure all the stems are in line with one another, as long as they're all like straight. You get a bit more waste this way, but you'll save a lot more time. There we go. Looks good. All right, so what I do with my kale is I flip it over, I bunch it up like this, take my chef's knife, drive it down the center, Then you bring your hands up, you hold the front, and as you go down, You know what would go really well with all this? Like so far, some goat's cheese. All right, so I'm just gonna stir that around for now because that vinegar, the acidity will wilt down the kale and it'll get rid of that bitter taste. All right. Okay, so next. So I have some fennel here. All right, guys, can you put raw fennel? This is fennel, by the way. Can you put raw fennel in a salad? And guys, what should I do with the top of the fennel? What should I do with this? Oh, some trivia. I hate fennel. Thumpster Drew. By the way, um. I'm going to get rid of the stem. I don't think you have to, but I just always do. You hate fennel? You want to know a god tier thing for fennel? God tier recipe for fennel? Apple, fennel, coleslaw, um, pulled pork. Oh my god. So good. Blow your blow your blow your mind, bro. Blow your mind. Can you put in fennel raw, guys? Can you? Let's try it. Oh. All right, the Googlers are back. Yes, yes. All right, let's just make sure. Hey, Google, can you eat raw fennel? According to Food Freak, the fennel bulb is enjoyed raw, where its anise flavor is most pronounced and cooked for a sweeter, mellower version of itself. But don't get Preach the rest. It. Preach it, girl. I have a... My Google Talker is a, uh, you know. So I'm just going to cut it up in little strips. What the fennel will do here is, again, like the kale, it will just... So this is a lot of fennel, okay? Now if you were to do this at home, don't, you do, this is one of those ingredients you do not have to put in. So don't, don't put it in. Uh, 
I just want a lot of veggies in this. I had, a, I had fennel in my fridge, just getting old, so I figured why not throw it in this. It's not going to hurt the salad. And it's an interesting experiment as well. Like, will it make it actually taste better, or will it make it taste worse? If you like fennel, it'll make it taste better, but... Alright, so let's just throw it in. Also, the acidity, like always, since this is an acidic salad, um, the acidity will break down that fennel just a little bit, make it a little bit softer, take away that raw edge, as always. I'm making a salad for now, yeah. I'm gonna make a lot of things. Alright. I've learned my mistake from making multiple things at once on stream, because no one can follow what I'm doing, so... Okay, so string... Okay, we have some uh, stringless sugar snap peas. Stringless. Alright then. No string! No strings attached! Holy shit! Fellas! Alright, so we're just gonna... Actually, I'm gonna give these a wash. Okay, you know what, let's try it so far. Let's try it. Let's try the salad, fellas. What do you think? All right, let's get, some, make sure you get everything. Make sure you get some of the dressing, the fennel, the kale, yeah? stuff inside the bag, which there's a lot of, apparently. It doesn't matter if they're, they're a little damp. So in fine dining, this matters a lot more, but when you're cooking at home, it doesn't matter as much. The water from the peas, and the water from anything you wash for a salad, water is neutral flavor. That is like one of the most important, it's, it's, it's some of the most common sense ever. But something that people don't think about. It's like water is just neutral flavor. And it'll blend in with a lot of things. Like, yeah, if, if you have a lightly dressed salad and you throw in, like, drenched ingredients, <laughs> it's just going to be watery. But if they're, like, sort of damp, it's just going to emulsify with the rest of the dressing eventually. And you see that, and here's, here's another kicker with that. Like, when you make coleslaw... And you, the next morning you check and it's all runny. It's like, I didn't put this much dressing in. Why is it, why is it there like double the dressing? That's because it, due to the acidity and everything in there, it released all its water. And now that water content is just in the bowl. All right. I dropped one. Please don't, please don't hate me. You know, I can turn this other camera off for now because I ain't using it. Hey, guys. Yeah, no, no. You guys want to watch this? I should let chat control this with points. What do you think?
What do you think? The camera will just be flying all over the place and then... I'm just kidding, by the way. This? No. You can do that if you want to. We're gonna do this, though. All right? Or you can line them all up, get get eight at a time. Do, 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 do. Since they have no string, it doesn't matter. But the other ones I bought do. So it doesn't matter if they're even close to the correct, like, it doesn't matter if they're the same shape as the other ones, it doesn't matter if I finely di dice them, nothing matters, because we're cooking at home, we're not in a restaurant, so you do whatever the hell you want. If you're thinking like, oh, do I have to half them, or whatever else, no, it doesn't matter, you could chop them up fine, you can leave them whole, you can do whatever the hell you want. I'm choosing to cut them in half, because right now this, this salad does not have any big ingredients, so it'll be something nice that you can get a crunch out of. Add another, uh, depth of texture to the dish. Nothing matters, yeah. This is a very green salad. There we go. We just upped this salad by a landslide, bro. Thank you, Nico Bahamut. Thank you, Kerbis. Thank you, Kimmy. Thank you, Toxic Nihilist. God, I wish I could hear alerts. One sec, let me try something else. Here, maybe I can hear alerts. One sec. Okay, fellers. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna do this. Gonna do this. Gonna do this. Uh. Wait, can you guys hear the audio or no? Wait, can you guys hear the music? You can't. Okay, what's up? Okay, now you can hear the music, but does it sound like shit? Can you hear the music now? Can you hear it, fellas? Can you hear it? All right, I can't hear the music. It's a quiet, it's very low, okay. There, how about now? How about now? Kinda creepy. I can't hear what music is on. Um, all right, now someone, someone sub or something. So I can test if I can... No, I can't hear it. Dude! Why can't I hear that? Thank you, T-Virus. Thank you so much. Monitor. Monitor. No. Why can't I hear that? Thank you, Kimmy. Thank you, Draco. Oh, shit. Okay, stop. Stop, guys. Stop. Stop. Thank you, T-Virus. Thank you so much. Well, I, can you guys hear the alerts? Why can't I hear anything, dude? Fifty subs. Alright, whatever. I will never be able to hear the alerts, but that's okay. Now we have, what are these again? Sugar. These are snow peas. Thank you, fellers. All right, can you guys hear now? Yo, Maxi. <sighs> the fucker snow peas, bro. They were born in the snow. They were bred in the snow. They're the annoying ones that 
and you have to pull the string out of. All right. We're going to be making some pesto after this, by the way, guys. Pog? Any pogs? Any pogs in the chat? Paper towel master. All right. Do these have the little shites in them? Oh, they do. Yikes, dude. What's on the menu? Well, we got some bean salad. We got some pesto. I'm just cooking stuff. I'm cooking some things for my garden. Veg prep, the most exciting content. You know what? If if I'm happy with how this goes, this cooking show, because I typically stop the cooking shows because I'm just like, eh. Um, but maybe I'll let you guys decide what I make. Will that be more exciting? Does the salad keep for a few days? Yeah, it should keep for like five days or so. Depends how, depends how dangerous you want to get. Listen, if you guys leave a pizza out, out overnight and then wake up and eat that cold pizza, you've got no fucking problem. You can eat this for 10 days. You can eat this for two weeks. Called out some folks. Well, I'm, here's the thing, guys. If you leave, there's something called the danger zone, right? And not the song either. Um, and if food is left out in the danger zone, it's just a it's a temperature, all right? If you leave it out in the danger zone for like three to five hours, I think the the sweet spot's three hours. It's either three or four. I can't remember. Um, then that is that now gives bacteria room to grow. So while that pizza is sitting out there in the danger zone, because room temperature is the danger zone, typically, unless you're living in the fucking igloo, um, then... Uh, yeah, so you're asleep, your pizza's out on the, in the dining room, and it's just building bacteria. It's just like... It's like a fucking breeding ground for that shit. It's a breeding ground for the bacteria that makes you sick, that gives you food poisoning. And trust me, you do not want food poisoning. It's one of the worst experiences in the world. And you know what? Once someone gets food poisoning, they'll sure as hell be a lot more cautious of how they store their food. One of the top causes of foodborne illness is improper storage. And this is this is just one of those this is one of those topics where everyone's just gonna base it on anecdotal evidence where they're like, "No, nah, I've been doing that shit for years, dude. I'm fine." Yep. And then one day you won't be fine, and then you'll be like, "Oh, never mind. He was right." Doing that shit for years, dude. Haven't got sick once. You're preaching shit. Oh yeah. Do, 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 do. You never get burger. I think when I got food poisoning, it was from McDonald's. I'm pretty sure. It's hard to tell because food poisoning kicks in like almost a day later from the thing that actually made you sick. I'm built different, yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, it's it's all just food store. It's all about perspective, guys. How long does this keep? Well, for someone that cares about their <laughs> their health, around five days. For someone that doesn't give a fuck. Uh, just keep it in there until it grows mold, I guess. I'm built different. 
That's why I eat moldy food. Cut. I feel different. You guys like this job? This is why you don't get snow peas, alright? I gotta hear the audio right now, one sec. I'm gonna bust out my phone, it's gonna start echoing. Now keep your cool, guys. Keep your cool. What the hell is this music? Ouch! Oh, I can hear the alerts! We cool. We cool! It said. I heard it! Can I share my cutting what? Technique? I don't recommend anyone do this. So if you're doing this at home, if you're doing this at home, do it in two stages. The first, you take your you take your thumb, press it against the P, push up, and then you just pull like that. Okay? You throw that out and then put it to the side and then use your chef's knife to cut it again. Because this part, this is the easy part. That's simple. Cutting it in half as well, that is the part where you're probably going to cut your finger off. Have I ever eaten adobo? Yeah. Couldn't hear yours? Thank you, Smoters. Thank you, Big Deku. Thank you, Band Tana. Ouch! Yeah, ouch! How dumb of an idea is it to go to culinary school if I have no plans on working in a related industry? I mean, it depends on your disposable income. <laughs> Do you have enough to pay it, to pay your tuition outright? I'd say it's a good, you know, you'll learn a lot. You know, the sad thing is, though, in culinary, you're only going to learn as much as you're, like, passionate for. If you go to school, if you go to school and you don't pay attention and you go partying and stuff and, and I did this too by the way but um, you're not gonna learn shit like you really won't you need to put your life into it um, like I know so many like well here how many people have watched thousands of YouTube videos on cooking or TikToks but you put them in a kitchen and they're just like ah, they, they, they don't know what to do it's like they, you may be staring at it, but are you absorbing any of the information? I feel like streams are the best part, because you can ask questions. Asking questions is the best way to learn something, and I feel like live streams are that. Because, like, if you're interested in a video, you're just going to, like, keep reading and whatever else, and then it's just going to it's just gonna blow out your brain. But if you're asking a question you're genuinely interested in, and then you get an answer from someone that you look up to or whatever else, I'm not saying anyone looks up to me, but just in case you do, um, then you're going to remember that probably because they're like, oh man, so-and-so told me this back a long time ago. Like, watch this. Yeah. All right, now we're going to throw in some green onion. You don't need to throw these out, uh, but uh, don't look. Now, typically, if you're cooking in a restaurant, you want to cut green onion on the side. If you guys can even see the green onion, you want to cut it, like, on the side or, or cut it at an angle to make it look cool. But since this is at-home cooking, it doesn't matter. big salad now we can put some more we can put some broccoli in this or whatever else but let's just give it a try as is all right so we got fennel in here garbanzo beans um what's the other bean when i put beans in a salad i don't even care what they are i just grab a bean and you know if i like it a lot i'll remember it for next time um so it's garbanzo and what was the other one 
Black Eyed Peas. Black Eyed Peas. People should be on the All right. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> there's a salad. Let's try it. Let's try it. And I brought a special guest, guys. Will I am? Come on in and try the salad. the red wine vinegar dressing still awesome though Maybe better with a fur fork. Thank you. Close up bite, please. Am I eating or am I tasting? I'm having my lunch, broski. Bro. I'm almost done. All right. more stuff don't worry guys we're gonna make some more stuff you know I'm not what done. Else is on the menu chef thank you spotters thank you mm. thank you we grow sumac Can't read half a chat. One sec. Ouch! Fuck you. Would you ever show your garden? I just got really into gardening this year from you talking about it. Oh shit! No wonder I can't read chat. Okay. There. Um, we're working in a food truck and eventually want to open a restaurant before the end of the next year. Just it's just creating a menu scares the shit out of me. What's the best advice on crafting flavors? Such as chefs do on competition shows. It's all experimentation. Like, if, if let's say you're gonna put, let's say you're gonna put uh, like a staple burger for your food truck. Well, you go, you make some, you make some tomato chutney, some tomato and jam or tomato and feta chutney. You go make like green apple chutney. You go make a tomato jam. You make a freaking celery jam. Go make all these different things, and find the perfect one that you think is perfect, and get your friends to try it too. That's how you do it. And like, and just use little ingredients. Like, for example, for the beef mixture, all you need to do to make a good like hamburger recipe is you'll take like an ounce of beef, like a meatball size, and mix everything you want to mix in that meatball. Make some scramble, or scramble some eggs up, because you want to put an egg in ground beef usually. Get some breadcrumbs, and you know, put, put a little pinch of each in that one meatball, fry it, 
and then like fry it like a pancake in the pan, just a little tiny like thing, and then try that and you'll know, you know, if you just double the ingredients, then you got a bigger one and you double the ingredients until it reaches like the burger you want. So stuff like that. It's just a lot of experimentation, a lot of tasting. Um, so let's say you're gonna put, yeah, whatever. You're gonna put a salad on the menu. We'll get to your kitchen and make 25 different salads and pick your like three favorite ones. Mm. Will I ever show my garden? I did briefly on Instagram. One more bite, and I'm putting this in the fridge, girl. Mmm! So, if you're new to the channel, or if you've never been around for the rants I do, I used to cater. Okay. I catered with three companies, and I had my own catering business, all right? And before I catered anything for my own business, so let's say someone wanted a nine-course meal um, next, like, oh, hey, can you, I'm doing a fancy dinner for, like, a uh, some doctor graduated brain surgery school, and we're having, like, 20 people over who want a really fancy dinner. All right, <laughs> I'm actually naming something I, I literally did. I'm like, all right, cool. Uh, what do you want? And you're like, nah, how about seven main courses and then six side meals and then two salads? He's like, okay, do you want anything specific? Uh, make sure one of the hot dishes is salmon and one is like lamb. It's like, all right, sick. So through the course of that week, I'm making one day, I'm making salmon. Next day, I'm making lamb. And I'm and if I don't get it perfect, then I'll just remember what I did, what it did wrong and I'll correct it when I cater it. So that is how I ate. Back when I was a caterer, I ate whatever the people wanted me to cater with because that is what I had to cook because I needed to prep. It's like prepping for a speedrun or like a tournament or something, you know. You need to practice. It's the same as everything. So, yeah. Um, now sometime, no. Granted, if someone's like, hey, Bach, I'm having a big get together. Can you come over and make me bean salad? I ain't fucking practicing that shit. I know that down to a science, all right? So, like, yeah, I'm not, but if it's this whole, like, if it's this whole kit and caboodle, I will be practicing it. Okay, there's a Jehovah's Witness in chat. I would never cater a wedding, ever. You know what's funny? A few people ask, a few viewers ask me to cater their wedding. You're asking, it's funny, people don't, I know you guys are kidding, but some people aren't. And it's funny that, it's like, hey, streamer who makes all their money from streaming, who is also a chef, come cater my wedding. That is technically a micro celebrity appearance, not really an appearance. But you're asking me to stop my, that's like, you know, you're, you're paying me at least quadruple because you're taking me away from my actual job to do my other job. They would let you stream it. That'd be horrible. I would never, I will never cater a wedding, ever. That sounds like torture. I've never catered a wedding. I've catered a movie set. I've catered an, an art show. I've done many dinner parties. The art show was the best one by far, though. Oh, it was so fun because I got super artsy. I made everything look, like, outrageous. It was awesome. Like, I did a sandwich platter and a bunch of hors d'oeuvres, and I made them all look crazy. It was really cool. It was super fun. I loved it. And I didn't take any pictures because I'm a fucking idiot. Well, I do have some pictures of catering um, from long ago on my Instagram. If you scroll way down, I got a ton of catering pictures. Alright, let's wrap this bad boy up. So, about the fennel. 
you can use this. So I haven't used the top of fennel in a long time. Chat, if there's any chefs in the chat. I believe this is like the top of a fennel. So let's say you have some white fish. Um, holy fuck, I can't think of a single white fish right now. Uh, dude, haddock, all right? Let's say, let's say, <laughs> let's say you're cod, cod, all right. Let's say you have haddock or cod, all right? You take... Okay? Lemons, okay? Apples, all right? Uh, white wine, boom. Put your fish on top of that, tin foil all around, into the oven, perfect. Do, 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 do. Nothing's getting out of here. Nothing. Nothing, bro. Nothing. And now if this was actual culinary, all right? Here, guys. Here's that tip. You take your pen out. Not your not your wiener. You take your permanent marker out. And you write bean salad. Uh, January 30th. Then you put it in the fridge. What are we making now, guys? What are we making now? What are we making now? Guys, what's next? Is there anyone still here? Full house tour. Yeah, I'll do baka soup cribs. Baka soup cribs later. But I'll have to do it on my ribeye steak. Well, I don't have that. I don't have any meat. I do have some meat, but it would take forever. I don't have the stuff I would like to use the meat for. And then I also have some beef in the fridge. <laughs> All right. All right. How about we make some pesto, fellas? Who likes pesto? This is for you, chat. Here. This is a nasturtium flower. You can use this to garnish a dish. All right. So I have nasturtiums. All right, guys. Quick trivia. Can you you are the stems to nasturtiums edible? Or is it just the leaves? How'd you guys know how did you guys know that? Of course they are. Wait, I'm getting some mixed info. Yes, and they have a shitload of vitamin C. Alright, you know what? Let's see what Google has to say about this. Okay, Google. Google. Hey, Google. Are nasturtium stems edible? Nasturtiums are a beautiful flowering plant that is easy to grow and wonderful to cook oh. with. The whole plant is edible, from the flowers to the leaves, and is packed full of flavor and beneficial vitamins and minerals. Yes! All right, so we're going to make some pesto. Some with a mower, mortar and pedestal. <whistles> Guys, what do you think of the new setup, by the way? So when I used to do cooking shows, I'd have my laptop behind me, 
But I moved it here. But you want to you want to see the problem though? Shit. You want to see the problem though, and why that? So why I've always had a janky setup. Thank you, Dead Steel. Thank you, Leon. Thank you, Rod. Thank you, Duh. Thank you so much. So you want to see why I've always turned around to read chat? I usually went here to read chat. But you want to know why? Because look at where I just ha I had to put my table. Ready? It's against a fucking door. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Whoa, dude! Um, but see, I am an idiot. Guys, when you get uh, your home or you move or anything, make sure you really check if it has everything you want. Because, guys, I love my kitchen. It looks great. But, you know, I'll take you guys around. Come on. So, this is my, uh, it's my washer and dryer, okay? That's my deep freeze, all right? Um, but do you know where the issue is for doing cooking shows and cooking in general? There is no, there's no island. This is not enough to cook on. This is not enough to cook on. This is hardly enough to cook on. This is a big butcher block, sure. And by the way, I'm not, I'm not like desensitized to your average home. I've been in a few other places and they were just as bad. Um, but yeah, if, if I move again, which I will one day, it's going to have a massive island. It's so hard doing a cooking show without an island. Like, um, it is a, it's a really tiny kitchen. I don't know if you can tell on stream, but it, it's very small. Like it's, there's not much room to work. <clears throat> um, but this is way better, this setup. But, but, but now I'm blocking off one of my doors, but it's not like I go outside anyway, so I guess who cares. Uh, okay, so I need to give this a wash really quick, and then, um, and then we're going to get cooking, fillers! Then we're going to get cooking, who's excited? Who's excited for some cooking? I know what I am. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, Skeeter. See, see, look, look. I can't even open the drawers because I need somewhere to put my oil. Um, I have no fucking clue where my food processor is. Uh, watch your head, Chad. Watch your head. It's in this kitchen somewhere. <laughs> I have no clue. Oh, 
I know there's a lot of aspiring chefs in the chat as always, and I've told this many times on stream, so it's not in a braggy way. You guys owe me. You want to know how much I'm gonna reveal? I'm gonna do an age reveal. I actually do talk about age sometimes, but I like to meme it on, and for new viewers, they'll never know. When I was 22, I think, is when I taught cooking classes. Um, and I was. This will give you an idea of. So when I worked at the super fancy restaurant, I was paid $11 an hour. $11 an hour at an award-winning restaurant. Not only award-winning, it won every single solitary culinary award on the in, in the entire state. Every single one, except one we came in second for, which was a seafood chowder competition. So best desserts, best main dishes, uh, best presentation, um, best ribs, best soup, yada, 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 yada. Every single one. $11 an hour, all right? I taught cooking classes to kids, $500 a class. <laughs> it was insane. So if you're thinking, oh, I need to work in a restaurant. No, you don't. No, you don't. So, guys, this is bullshit. Now, the real reason I mentioned money is because, look, I bought this for the pesto, for the pesto stream. $34 block of Parmesan cheese. This is bullshit. All right, let's get this party started, shall we? You guys like how much paper towel I've used? <laughs> the big cheese. All right, let's go. So what should we, what should we start with? All right, so. Let's move this aside, fellas. Let's put that there, this here, that there, that there, this here, that over there, this and this and there. Oh, that fell, okay. <laughs> Do that again and I'll chop you in half. All right, we throw this in there. We throw the compost in the garbage, don't tell. We put this back in here, we do this. Oh, ho, ho, I'll do that for sure. Then we come back, all right, so. All right, here is your, I think this is classic pesto. I think classic pesto, if I remember correctly, is olive oil, garlic, lemon juice, Parmesan cheese, toasted pine nuts, and basil. I think that's it. And here's the actual best ingredients for pesto. You can switch basil for anything. I'm not using any basil. I'm using nasturtiums. So, um, so we have Parmesan cheese, we have nasturtiums, but you can use any cheese, you can use any nut. You can, you, okay, not any, you can't use your own nuts, all right, fellas? But come on, why do, you, why do you even think of that? You can't use your own nuts, you sick freaks. Jesus Christ, dude. Are you fucking crazy, bro? Hey guys, we got almonds, we got pecans, we got walnuts, we got sunflower seeds, we got pistachios, and we got pumpkin seeds. All right. This might take a while. <laughs> no, it won't. All right, so garlic. All right. We got some garlic. We got some garlic. Oh, yeah. I'm going to preheat the oven, too, because the next thing I'm making is actually using heat. How long have we been live? Two hours. We got plenty of time. Two hours to make the... By the way, guys, if I made that salad, like, Ouch. at work, that would have taken 10 minutes. I used American cheese, collard greens, and corn nuts. <laughs> it was disgusting. Yeah. Thanks a lot. That sounds... That made me almost vomit. All right. So... <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we're going to be using all this, so I'm just going to take the bottom off the garlic. Urgh. This is a freaking hard garlic.
Jesus. Um. All right, so let's use this old classic method. That's a lot of garlic. All right, so let's use this classic method. Oh shit, I need another waste barrel. All right, I'm about to spill a bunch of shit. Hey guys, by the way. I'm about to spill a bunch of shit everywhere. Sorry everyone, watch your, watch your wiener. <laughs> the way, these aren't reach this. It's all the way in the back. Okay. All right. So this is a classic method. You're about to see, you're about to see shit fly. didn't work. <laughs> I don't know why people, dude, it never works. It's so garbage. Well, no, it does work sometimes. It just depends on the garlic. All right, now we'll do the actual, now we'll do the actual method. Here, come here. All right, this is a really big one. Holy shit. Shake, 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 or hyper. For that donation? Thank you. Yes, chef. Thank you for the 10,000 bits AV1230. Oh, thank you. Hey, it worked. No, no, it didn't. They're just all sweaty now. Thank you so much, AV, for the insane generosity. Whew, it's getting sweaty in here. Holy shit. Whew. Jesus Christ. Okay, there's way too much garbage in there. See, this is the problem. There's like no freaking room in here. Good enough, garlic girls. Are there any garlic girls in the chat? Ew, this one's got a gross spot. Oh, it's probably because the garlic is old. I like buying old garlic. Can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. Oh, shit! Guys, do you know who I'm referencing when I say shit like that? Like, shit! Oh, well, oh shit, a rat, but also, also. Oh shit, a rat! Also, though, Mike Epps from the Resident Evil Apocalypse movie. Shit! Maybe it's safer for wait outside. All right. All right, these dirty dishes are bothering me, so one second. It'll take, it'll take no time to clean them, one sec. 
This is garlic. Garlic has plenty of antioxidants. We're just going to give it a rinse. All right? There. Look, because that's totally how that works. Uh, Well, how about one paper towel for the road? <laughs> All right. All right. I have, yeah. Thank you. Slip as well. And thank you, Lime Malicious. Oh my god. Did you raid or something? Oh my god. What did I miss? And thank you, AV, for the uh, resub. Thank you, Smoters, for the gifted sub. Thank you, Dead Steel. Thank you, Duh. Thank you, Leon. Everyone's gone that resub. Feels, feels bad, man. All right, so we have to toast some nuts. No, I don't. All right. Oh, we get to use the other camera. All right. Guys, how do you toast nuts? Low heat. They'll burn easy. Just, just toast them real quick. So this is where you can get really creative here. You can make, you can make candied nuts if you want to. Oh, these are already roasted pistachios. So we're just gonna heat them a little bit. So. Yeah, you like this is my graduation jacket. I don't even think I've ever worn this <laughs> until now. Oh no, 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 no. I actually used to wear it when I catered. Never mind. Where's my coffee, bro? It's all cold now. Thank you, Embrace. That's a lot of nuts, dude. Uh, what am I doing? Oh. That's a lot of nuts, bro. Ouch. Keep up the good work, Chef Loving It. Yeah, dude! Come on, people! Work! Work, damn you! Oh, thank you, uh, Chef Lucador. Thank you. Not good enough. Let's just wait a sec. It's not good enough. <sighs> there we go. That's good enough. Do, do, do. I have no one welcome. If you had to prepare the president a meal, what would you prepare? Of 1,235. Well, for Biden, I'm not sure, but for Trump, uh, burgers. Burgers and. Burgers and fries, right? Here we go. Here, I'll, I'll make up a good burger off the top of my head. Alright. Roasted garlic aioli. Okay, uh. uh tomato, jam, tomato and feta jam. Um, jalapeno. Smoked jalapeno, candied with brown sugar. Uh, bacon. Uh, hamburger with um, uh, a bunch of different shit in it, and then probably a coleslaw. Let's say, um, let's say, let's 
let's say apple and pear coleslaw, but inside the ground beef is uh, brie cheese. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take our garlic. Extra virgin olive oil. So this thing hasn't even seen a woman. All right, extra virgin. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing, what's that? Well, I know what I'm doing, but... I'm being silly, okay? Thank you so much, Amy, and thank you, Smarters. And thank you, Chef Luke, again. If you were to run a restaurant, what type would it be, and what would the location be? It would be a, um... It would be a... Uh, It would be a... You could save this. I just... I'm in a hurry, bro. It would be a... Oh, one second, sorry. I'll never get anything done. There's supposed to be no horseplay or talking in a professional kitchen, all right? It would be a bistro, probably. It would it would be a lunch place, and only lunch. And you know why I would choose a lunch place? It would, well, it would either be a lunch place or a dinner place. And why I would pick that is because I'd only have to be there for like two or three hours, and I'd go home. Um, but yeah, some of my favorite things to make, and some things I think I'm really good at making are like uh, chili, mac and cheese, pad thai, um, curry, Burritos. Oh my god, you guys razz me. I'm, oh, spaghetti. I like spaghetti. Sorry, I'm imitating Canadians. Because I hate them. Okay. Alright, we got our cheese. We got our garlic. What else do we need? We got our nuts. What else we missing? I oh yeah, we could do we could use some assistance. When were you able to quit being a chef to stream full time? <laughs> oh well, there's two answers to that question. Thank you, Mark. I stream full time and I worked as a chef full time. Um, but, uh, like, when I talk about the cooking classes, by the way, oh wait, I wasn't 21 when I did the classes then. I was like 24. When I did those, I was streaming, like, I'd be like, guys, I gotta go, I gotta teach a cooking class. Like, I was still streaming during those days. Um, so... It's, it's tough, man. Like, life is tough. And, and sometimes, like, sometimes I've had jobs where I'm, like, hardly at work. Like, I work 20 hours a week or, like, 10 hours a week even. And it feels like it's absorbing your whole life. It's horrible. Um, I know what that's like, and it, it sucks ass. And you work other jobs, like, 40 hours a week, and it feels like you still have all the time in the world. I'm the type of person, I'm sure there's many people in chat that can relate. I have ADHD, so this probably ties into it, but... Sorry, I'm going off on a tangent, but I don't care. Um... Before I had to go to work for an eight-hour shift, let's say let's say my shift who's in chat is like this Let's say my shift was at 5 p.m. And I woke up at 1 p.m. And my mom would be like, oh do this or do that. And I'd be like, no, I, I don't have any time I would literally feel like if I woke up before my shift It wouldn't matter if it was four hours away I would feel like I don't have time for anything and I wouldn't do anything either like I just feel like it's like if I have to work later, I have no time for anything. I just want to just like do nothing. I, like I feel like I feel like I'm strapped. Like, like even though it's five hours, to me it felt like minutes. I'm just like, oh, ugh. 
but yeah, I mean, waiting mode. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a something for that, eh? So, um, but yeah, the question was, when was I able to quit being a chef to stream full time? So, um, uh, I need to get this done, but, um, Oh, wait. Ah, shit. I should probably zest these first. Whatever it was. So, all right, let me just answer the question. It's too, it's too difficult. Uh, so before before I actually got my partnership on Twitch and before I quit actually quit being a chef, the last thing I did before I quit being a chef, like before my last cooking job, I worked at a, a an old folks home. So a, it was a residence actually. So it was a residence, which is a which is a place to retire for like rich people. All right, and I loved it. I worked every second weekend. Um, so so I didn't even work. I hardly worked there, like hardly. But the kicker was, so I worked every second weekend as the head chef. But, um, it was two 12-hour shifts back-to-back. -back. So I'd wake up at 5, and I would leave at 5 p.m. So I'd wake up at 5 a.m. and get there, and I'd leave at 5 p.m. And I would do that Saturday, every, every second Friday and Saturday. Um, so, which, which was awesome. But, so that's, that was when I was, like, really pushing streaming. And, um, and that's why I took that job. Because, like... At that point in my life, oh, it, it almost makes me want to cry talking about this, but, um, yeah, I was worked to the fucking bone. Thank you, Doomsday. And thank you, AB. I was worked to the fucking bone, dude. Uh, so, at that point, I was done. With, uh, with, with, done with not working culinary. I was done with working and streaming. Like, it was just so hard to do. Anyway, the answer you're looking for is I quit my job, I quit my culinary job, I saved up $5,000, I moved across the country, and I lived off that $5,000, hoping that I would actually not, or, or hoping that I'd at least start breaking even while streaming, because I was just losing money, because uh, rent was more expensive than what I made. But, since I, raised, since I saved up that $5,000, and I made, like, I don't know, like five hundred dollars a month at that point, uh, and rent was rent was a thousand. So, so it's like, so you know, I was I was getting by every month, and then and then I went to GDQ, and then I started making more than my rent, and that's what that's what really pushed me into full time streaming. So I'm zesting these lemons. For those of you who don't know, the the outer yellow on a lemon is actually very flavorful, but it doesn't come with that super, uh, it doesn't come with that like harsh bite or acidity. You just get that lemon flavor. There are much, <laughs> there are much better methods to do this, by the way. I just wanted to use my microplane. But yeah, it, it is, it's, like, when you're trying to achieve your whatever goal you have in life, it, it's really tough to, um, uh, like, working 40 hours a week or more is really hard as a human being. It's, your people Ouch. work too much. So, uh. You are appreciated for all hey, that thank you have you, done. Sweaters. Do. Sure. So, yeah, when you're pushing yourself beyond that, and trying to work two jobs. I mean, my mom did that all my life. Like my mom worked like three jobs when I grew up, uh, so it wasn't uh, it wasn't like weird for the household. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's brutal, man. It's brutal. Thank you, Mark. Sorry for the long Ouch. fucking answer. Thanks for answering. Glad it worked out for you. Super chat. Oh shit! Thank you, Vinny. 
Oh, I can actually see it at the top of chat for once. Thank you for the, the two five. Holy fuck. I find it hilarious that most of you use super chat to just put a heart emote. That's like most of them. Thank you. I feel like if you could put your nuts on Twitch as an emote, that is what people would do. But a big heart is the next best thing. All right, I'm so sick of microplaning. Now let's get some lemon juice. All right. Let's crush these lemons to the boner. They're going to fall off the table because I have so much I have so much room to cook. Okay, people, do I roll lemons? Oh uh, yeah, I, I, I was smashing them together earlier. I really need a new juicer. I hate using this thing. This thing sucks. Oh shit. Or it doesn't, it doesn't suck, but it's so old school. It's like, it's like one of my most old school things I have. Yeah. Juicing up a storm here. But in culinary school, I've used tongs so many times. Oh my god. You like that sound, guys? Oh, god. do stuff with these lemon ends, but I'm not gonna, because I don't feel like it, Roaster. I don't feel like it, Roaster. Alright, shall we actually start? Okay, I think we can one more paper towel for the road, shall we? I think we can start making the pesto now. You guys ready? Oh wait, before we do that, I'm gonna put something in the oven. All right, I'm gonna roast off some eggplant. All right, fellers? Okay, you now see what I mean by I don't have a lot of space? If this was an actual kitchen, I wouldn't even have used a quarter of my island yet. But oh my God, I can't fit anything on here. It's brutal. Ugh. All right, so, um, one second. Watch this! Help! Help! Just kidding, I was blowing my nose. I hope my neighbor doesn't come running over. Um, eggplant. You're about to learn an important trick. Okay, people. Top off. I hate eggplant, Bach. Yeah, I do too, but this is actually a good recipe. All right, in half. It's hardly even a recipe. Well, later it'll be a recipe. All right, so score it. Ugh. All right, see, big score, big score, big score. All right. Uh. 
All right, olive oil. I have no room for fucking anything. Olive oil. Get it right in there. I waited too long. Yeah, lots of olive oil. Yeah, guys. Get it nice and wet. And let it stay wet. Alright. Okay. Get over here, you. Alright. Uh, I got some crunchy salt. Wait, what freak is my salt? Oh. Alright, so we got some pepper. So I'm gonna I'm gonna undo this a little so it makes it coarse. So if you guys don't know, the tighter this is, the more finely ground your pepper will be, and the more loose it is, the less ground it will be. So we're going for some big flakes. Growers, big flakes. Big flakes. Alright. And then you can, where's my salt? I actually have no clue where I put the salt. Oh, here it is. So, all right, so. Big, huge flakes. So, two things. From here, you can decide a couple things. So I'm using this as a puree. I'm gonna make a, uh, I'm just gonna make a roasted red pepper and eggplant dip just for like wraps and salads throughout the week. All right, so here's where you make, here's where you make a decision. If you put it face side down, it'll get nice and crispy. The the uh, the sugars from the eggplant, the very little that there is, will caramelize at the bottom. It'll give it a nice crispy. Um, but that's a little. Sometimes it can stick and get a little goopy, or you can leave it up, and that's the safe strat. And if you leave it up, then you just scoop it all out from the skin. It's great. Uh, so. With this, I'm gonna also roast off some peppers, but I think I'll roast the peppers. It'll be more fun if I roast them on top of the stove because that's more, that's that's better content, okay? Um, but yeah, we're just gonna put these in the oven. I'm gonna put them face down, see what happens. Um, it's the oven's at 375 degrees. You know what pisses me off? Two things that piss me off. I'm just sharing them because I'm in rant mode, bruh. All right, I fucking hate when cooking videos are like, forget the, forget the ingredient amounts, those don't matter. When people are like, hey, Buck, well, but how much honey did you put in that dressing? I don't know. Just fucking put some in to taste it. You'll be fine. If it's like, ugh, it tastes like shit, then add more. I hate when people are like, here's how, you to, here's how to cook this thing and just put it in a hot oven. The temperature of your oven is very fucking important for a lot of stuff. So when they say hot oven, they, they usually mean 375, but sometimes you're like, you'll zoom in on the video. And it's like, it's at like 450. It's like, dude. What the hell do you mean hot up? Like, just say the degrees. Say that you're right there. Just fucking say it. Stupid idiot. God. And here's the other thing, completely unrelated, but it reminds you of the same thing. When you're looking at hotels to, to, to rent out, and it's like, you're scrolling through the pictures, and the only room that they don't show the whole thing of is the bathroom. It's like, dude, is there a walk-in shower and a bathtub? Is there even a shower? Like, what the fuck am I dealing with here? They take a pic that it's like, it's like, it's like, they'll just show a picture that there's a sink. And it's like, dude, this hotel's like $500 a night. You're showing me the sink? Why do I need to know what the inside of that goddamn couch looks like in the living room? Show me there's a goddamn shower or a bath or a bathtub. Holy shit. Ah. All right. This thing is dirty, but... Uh... Vincent? It's me, your mother! Holy shit! My mother? My mother? 
Where am I even gonna do this? I guess here. All right. Well, let's. I gotta put this pairing knife away before I poke an eye out. Okay. Ouch! Thank you, Bachlistics, for your continued you insane into summer any chance for a barbecue stream? Insane generosity. Alright, wait, what'd you say? Thank you, Bachlistics. Thank you, Kiss1231. Ah, uh, no, no chance for a barbecue stream. My neighbors are too, uh... Yeah, I'm not doing that. I wish, though, dude. I wish. I don't even have a barbecue at the moment. All right. Please don't cut my... Please don't cut my wiener off. Whoa! Look at that garlic! Boom! Baby. All right. Look at that garlic, broski. All right, one second. Okay, so uh, what am I doing? So we're making some pesto, fellas, all right. So, uh, all right, so we got garlic. Let's get some nasturtiums in there, all right? So we're gonna put some nasturtiums in, here we go. This should be good. Let's see how this tastes. All right, we're gonna put in some Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna put three cubes. Three cubes. We're gonna put my pistachios. And if this tastes good, we're gonna keep going with this, all right? All right. Good enough. And olive oil. Did I forget something? Oh. Is that loud, by the way? All right, so we gotta scrape down the sides. Actually, let me just try it first. Okay. All right, so. Now we add the real big nasturtiums. Okay, get in there, boys. I'm making a big batch. I'm making a big batch. Here we go. A big old batch. And we're gonna, we're gonna blitz it to living hell. We're gonna put in my pistachios. Yeah, baby! Let's go! We're gonna put in some more Parmesan cheese, fellas. Look, a little more oil. All right, you know what? Fuck it, dude. I'm gonna put in a little bit of water. Remember I said neutral flavor? I don't wanna put any more oil in it, so. Just a little bit of water. All right, perfect, bro, perfect. Perfect, bro. All right, so we're gonna blitz this up, and then we're gonna try. Ouch! All right. Ooh, it looks. How much oil, awesome. chief? It looks awesome. How much oil? I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, look at it. It turned out. It, the color is awesome. So let's try it.
so. You definitely taste the you definitely taste the nasturtium. Nasturtium is very peppery. It's actually really, really, really good. It has a big bite to it though, so to counter that bite, we're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. Just a, just a little bit, just so there's some acidity in there. And the garlic also adds a bite too. So. All right, so now. Oh yeah, that's so much better. So, oh yeah, that's awesome. So that'll be really good on like, oh, anything. Any, anything that has like a sweetness to it would be really good on. So now we're going to add, I'm going to add just a, because it's really peppery and wait. So I have some honey here. Oh, baby, dude. Some really high quality honey. So we're just going to add like just a little bit. Dude, the honey is so good. It's like, no, I'm not putting maple syrup into you, fucking. And now we're gonna add a little bit of my coffee. So coffee is a really good. You, not adding coffee, you fucking. Let's see what this is like. Mm -hmm. Oh, guys, guys, trust me. Actually, God tier. It's so, 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 so good. But now, so here, here's, here's where the fun part comes in. So we have something very good. All right. So it's it's peppery. It's got a little bit of a sweetness. There's no. There's not like a lot of kick anymore. There's a little kick, but a little kick from something like pesto is great because you're using pesto as like the base for a cream sauce or a pasta sauce. This is something that you add to like, you start off, you fry Ouch. some you fry some onions in a pan, you add your pesto, you turn, you turn it, you add some cream, you let it can reduce. Can have a taste, chef? Yeah, you guys can have some. Here you go. There you go, chat. It's coming in. Here it comes. All right, take a bite, chat. No, oh, no, was it good? No, good boy. So good though, oh my god. Nasturtium pesto, it pisses me off when people are like, oh, basil, fuck basil. Basil, basil, pa basil pesto is so fucking boring. Dude, now, now, nasturtium pistachio pe uh, pesto and honey, that's where it's at. So, now, this is the fun part, like I said. So, now, remember I grated that lemon zest earlier? So, we take a little bit of the pesto. We take like, we take like, look, we take like one little, one little zesting, all right? Because that, that's equivalent to if I added the whole thing, all right? To the big dish. Oh. Man, we got a good recipe on our hands. Oh, that is, that is so good. I don't even want to do anymore. I don't even want to work with the nuts anymore. So, I'm going to make way more of this. Fuck it, dude. Let's uh, let's just roll with this. You guys care? Let's roll with this. I'll give you guys the measurements. Just let me make a way bigger batch, all right? Because I can freeze this and everything. All right, so we're going to add all the nasturtiums. Here we go. Mamma mia. So stems and all. Stems and all, fellas. All right, big nasturtium pesto. Okay, so now we add one extra clove of garlic. We add a little more lemon juice. 
There we go. Add a little more olive oil. And some pistachios! Wait, why are you guys mentioning this? I gotta throw this in the garbage. Alright. So now we're gonna put in some honey, a little more pepper like we did before. Fuck, you just ate off that spoon. You're using it for the honey? Yeah, well, this is my fucking house. Alright. There we go. Oh my god, the honey's so good. Alright. Let's try this. Perfect. I'm going to add one more thing of Parmesan. Oh, and a little bit of water too. And now we scrape off the sides. Where's my thing? Where's my thing? Just put, put the top in there. It's hard to get all of it. But you know what ELD stands for, guys? ELD, every last drop. Okay, so what you guys should have learned from this, and what, here's your homework guys, here's your homework, and you can link me on Instagram or Twitter or whatever. Go buy a herb, like parsley, okay, or, or uh, sage, or whatever. They all work. Now, some are trickier than others. Nasturtium is definitely a tricky one. Um, but like parsley is easy. Just don't buy basil. Basil's too easy. Um, And your homework is, God, this is good. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. And uh, before we finish this off, we're going to, well, first, first, okay, one, one second. We're going to, oh yeah, I forgot I made all this garlic and lemon juice for this. I'll just use it for the, um, I'll just use it for the, uh, the eggplant stuff. So, and see, that's, that's the thing, guys. I do not want to use lemon juice or garlic for the eggplant. But it's here. Let's try and make it work for fun. Um, so I'm going to transfer this to a bowl. Just a small bowl. And there's a reason for doing this. Uh, right over my coffee. So, ELD, every last drop. But we're not going to actually get every last drop because it's annoying as fuck. <laughs> uh. 
All right, so what we're gonna do now, since it's all like, since it's all made up already, you can now, um, you can now add like liquid ingredients to it if you want to. Oh, I know what we'll do. I know what we'll do. I know what we'll do for the other pesto. I have a great idea. We'll make the other pesto with the mortar and pedestal. I have one. One time I lent my friends a mortar and pestle and they used it to crush up drugs. And because they used it to crush up like Adderall and shit. And then I one day I was like, can I have my mortar and pestle back? He's like, oh dude, I lost it. Um, anyway, he bought me a new one. And I forget what happened to it, but my brother bought me this one. All right. Wait, no, no, come back. Wasn't done. By the way, um, minus the finger licking, if you think using your hands in the, like, if you think, if, if you're watching this, for example, and you think this is gross, stop eating at restaurants. Because your food has been manhandled. Okay, so now... We're just going to add the lemon zest. Because we don't want to blitz the lemon zest to living hell. We just want it to like be there. And here's the best part of all this. I'm also stirring this. Um, instead of blitzing, yeah, just because I don't want the lemon zest to be brutal. All right, last taste test. Perfect. Mmm, super creamy, nutty. It's got that little peppery to it. It's god tier. Absolutely love it. Now, there is a bit of a bite to it that's like, huh. But that bite, you pair this up with something salty, sweet and, you pair this up with something sweet and salty, or you, you like, use this for a cream sauce, like I said, absolute god tier. Um, so now, this is, the, this is the great part. I, I keep, I keep putting this away and I need, <laughs> I need it. Um, you can freeze this. That's the ultimate great thing about this. You can freeze it. So now, I'm just gonna make, uh, just gonna get a few small dishes. And now, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna freeze it in these two small containers. And then, like a month from now, if I'm like, you know what, I want some pesto to dip, or I wanna make a pesto cream sauce, pesto mac and cheese, whatever. I want pesto for anything, you have it in the fridge or the freezer. It's great meal prep. Uh, so yeah, we'll make another one in the mortar though. Now, hey, has anyone ever frozen pesto? Because this will be like my second time. Is there any like tricks to it? Is there anything you should do to make it come out easy? Or is there like any like life hacks for freezing pesto? I don't think there is. I just thought I'd ask because there's a lot of people here. Uh, let's actually put it in this. Sometimes I cannot focus when I'm talking to chat. Uh, okay. There we go. And since this is so like 
There's no like sticky ingredients really. I mean the honey, but um, this is super easy to wash too. It'll take like two seconds. There we go. with the mortar and pestle. You guys can vote on all the ingredients. gonna freeze this can we make spaghetti I've made spaghetti on like a ton of different cooking shows all right so I'm just gonna put this in the freezer speaking of like white fish earlier that would go really well with some white fish as well because it's so Peppery. All right. Um, where's my mortar? Okay, chat. All right. So we'll move this for now, even though we'll need it for the uh, for the pepper or the eggplant. Sorry. All right, chat. Pesto in your lasagna? Nice. One of the best lasagnas I ever made. I made a, um, not necessarily a pesto, but in the middle of, oh no, it was a pesto. It was a, a sun-dried tomato and artichoke. Really, okay? really good. Uh, thank you, Dead Steel. Thank you so much for the five good subs. And thank you, Aryu. Thank you, Mr. Helsing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Smoters. Again, and thank you, Slothy. Give chat an apron. No, no. All right, chat, you will be making this, okay? So, wait, okay, I'm gonna give you a choice of herbs. I need to see what I have, one sec. All right, so, uh, God, a little risky. Dill, parsley, lemon balm, sage, uh, or more nasturtiums. No basil. Dill. That's a tricky one. Dill. Dill. Dill and parsley. Sage, sage, dill. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, chat. Wake up. You're making this pesto, not me. Sage. Would sage and dill work? I don't think so. I have played it. Yeah, gaming. Oh my god, look at you guys with your with your sage and dill. Are you allowed to mix? Alright, I'll grab sage and dill. I think I have sage out there. One second. I need my scissors to cut it up. Wait for me. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I don't know 
about this, but... I can make this work. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna have to chop up the sage a little. I grabbed a little more dill than the sage because sage is pretty overpowering. I mean, they're both they're both can be pretty overpowering, but so for the sage, I'm just gonna roll it up. And I'm gonna do a shift and nod. Okay, guys. I have avocado oil. I have avocado oil or all. I have avocado oil or olive oil. Which one are we using? You want breadcrumbs? Yeah, we're gonna do a different nut too. Oh, look at look at chat. All right. So let's just get this started. Is this really loud? Here, let me move this up. Oh. It's around here somewhere. Come here. Come here, you little fucking piece of shit camera. I'm gonna turn the bike down. All right, guys, what now? What are we adding now? Which which nut? We got. We got wall. We got uh, walnuts. We have pecans. We have almonds. Our sesame seeds or pumpkin seeds. I know what I would pick. Pecan. Pecan. Look at everyone going in with the pecan. Pumpkin. 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 Wait. Did you guys get my rep? Did you guys understand what I meant when I went like this? All right, pumpkin seeds, good. We're, let's give them, let's give them a bit of uh, a toaster. That's on you guys. Wait, can you even see it? Oh, you can. Sort of. They're looking at my socks. You guys are freaks. 
Freaks! They're looking at my socks. Come on, post up already. Do something. Do something. Do something. You'll never catch me without socks on. I have never made dill or sage pesto and we're mixing the two. We're doing some fusion cooking. Oh shit. That was close, bro. Fusion cooking, guys. Should we throw some should we throw some eggplant in there? Thank you, Felipe. Nice silver, yeah, it is pretty tough. I, I never, I never did the EU version. Wait, is there still music playing right now? Don't rush it. Let it cook. Two different socks. They know. They figured it out. Listen, I'm in my own helm. I'm not trying to impress anyone. But I have Versace Dylan Blue cologne on. Can you guys smell that? Can you guys smell that? So we're adding the seeds right on in. Let, let, let them cool down for a sec. Let them cool down. Let them cool. That's a lot of pumpkin seeds, but that's okay. Because we need something, we need another flavor to take over. Because <laughs> uh, what we got going ain't good. So I'm gonna just stick with Parmesan cheese. Let's not get too crazy. And also let's get the garlic in there. a little bit of I'm gonna put a little salt in there just to get it just to get it moving just a little bit all right so now we'll add your guys pumpkin seeds you want to add them all or just half let's add just a little bit I added half all right I like to move it move it I like to move it move it Guys, I'm gonna shit my pants if this ends up being good. Let me let me try it. So far. Actually, wait, let's break up the garlic a little more. I'm not.
I'm not I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm not good at using a mortar and pestle because you wouldn't be caught dead using this in the restaurants I was at. Because it just like it, it just makes too small an amount. But I have used it before. No, I, I'll always tell the truth. There, there's been times I've cooked stuff and I've been like, guys, this sucks. <laughs> well, that, that's when I let you guys take over like this. All right, so everything's everything's pretty broken up. There's some seeds, but I guess we I could give it a flavor try. Let's see what it's like. Um. Honestly, not bad. It's it's um. I think we could use the rest of the seeds. Uh, we could use some. I wonder what would make this good. So, lemon and dill is actually a really good flavor combination, but is lemon and is lemon and sage? I can't. I think it is. I think lemon and sage works well. Pretty sure. All right. Let's let's put some lemon juice in there. There we go. Yeah, there now it's coming together. Look at that. But you know what? Let's make it so it doesn't sound like it's gonna smash my house. Look at that. Whew. Okay. All right, let's try this. Hey. Ooh. It's quite, um... I definitely could use some some sugar. So I'll let you guys decide. White sugar, brown sugar, molasses, honey, or maple syrup. Oh, and it could use pepper, yeah. Honey, honey, maple syrup, maple. Canadian bread. All right, well, I was thinking, okay. All right, I'll try it. I was thinking honey, but. There we go. It just needs a little, little, little bit. It just needs something to take that sting off. Actually, it definitely needs like a tiny bit more. <laughs> I've been beating this up for so long, I may as well have used a food processor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's try. Um. Um. Hmm. So the thing is, it's good. It's good. It's good, by the way. It actually, I'm shocked, by the way. Um. So... God, I wish you guys could taste it. What I'm trying to think of, why I'm like, um, I'm trying to think of what it would go well with. Like. No, no, it tastes great. It, it actually does. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even joking. Hmm. Yeah. Mmm. Damn. It's actually pretty damn good. 
Why not pine nuts? Because that's boring. Everyone uses pine nuts. I'm here to expand people's mind about cooking, not... Yeah, I don't want... I, I want you guys to actually experiment. Like, you know, when you make spaghetti, don't just do garlic, onions, olive oil, and then your crushed tomatoes. Like, add some crazy shit to it. Like, do a... Do a reduction of, like, warch... Warch... Worcestershire <coughs> sauce and, um, brown sugar. And then... To your, to your like, and then do a red wine reduction, and then add your tomato sauce. You know, do do some crazy shit. Like, what opens people's minds about cooking is that, wait, what do you mean? You just mixed lemon and and you just mixed mixed dill and sage and made pesto and didn't use pine nuts. You used pumpkin seeds instead of pine nuts, and it tastes good. Yeah, it tastes fucking awesome. In fact. I think this and the last one tastes way better than basil pesto. If you were to serve... By the way, the reason I kept these flowers... So these nasturtium flowers, if you were to serve up... See the bright color of these? If you were to serve like this pesto at a restaurant... See how the bright... It's, it's hard to see. One sec. Uh, I have more lights. See how the... Oh, it's me. I'm, I'm the cause of this. Yeah. See the color difference? It looks awesome. So, these are edible flowers, by the way. It's it's what you get from this, the nasturtium plant. Looks really, really good on top of, like, that dark green. Um... Yeah, that was awesome, man. I'm surprised. I'm actually shocked. When you guys were like dill and sage, I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? Um, but yeah, we can add some more stuff to this too. Uh, let me check my fridge. Hey, I heard that, bro. Sardines! Let's add some sardines to it, fellas! What do you think? Sardines! What do you think, fellas? Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! I'm so stupid! I bought groceries with my backpack earlier and I forgot to unpack them! Oh fuck, boys! Boys! Oh! Oh boy! Oh fuck, boys! Oh! Oh shit, boy! Oh! Oh shit, I was, I was looking at my fridge, I'm like, where's that cottage cheese I bought? Wait, how long have I been streaming? Three hours. The danger zone! The danger zone! Don't worry, it's been packed up in a, in a, in a backpack, so. Now, there was actually only two things in there that were perishable. It was cottage cheese. That sounds like the most disgusting thing ever to sit in a backpack. And then, <laughs> and then, uh yogurt but yeah we can make quite a few more things um thank you emily's thank you gnarly charlie oh yeah it, yeah it's done i checked i don't have many more stuff in my fridge um but yeah at this point guys by the way by the way one of the best things you can do with most with like a lot of different food is so Adding crunt, uh, adding like chopped nuts to the pesto. Like once you get this out of the bowl and into something else, adding like uh, the ingredients that are already in there, adding more just adds like a complexity to the texture, which will just elevate the dish ever so slightly. Um, but enough. But yeah, it would. Um, sorry, I'm just turning on all my lights. It'd be good though. Too much is bad sometimes. It is. Uh, but I'm just saying, if you want to change it up at this point, like this is perfect like it is. And if you were to serve it and you want more stuff in it, you could add some more of that. Um, you could add some more chopped nuts. Then you could stir in some of the lemon zest like this. 
So I wouldn't crush this up. I would use this to enhance the flavor. Yellow on green is really good. So you could, so if you're serving it at a restaurant, you would put this in a serving dish. You would sprinkle on more like chopped pumpkin seeds. You could even do, you could even toast off some pine nuts, chop those up really fine and do a sprinkle over the top, a sprinkle of like a little drizzle of olive oil, some of the sage, or so, sorry, some of the lemon zest around. So you, so you get this nice, you get this nice, um, light brown from the pine nut you get the nice bright yellow from the lemon zest which both of those just enhance the flavor and then you have the nice bright like orangish yellow to, like it's almost it almost has that brown in it you see so you get that and put that right in the middle and it would look awesome so you have that nice green shine on top from the oil you have the crunchy nuts on the top and then it would look really good I would show you guys, but my dishes are terrible. Here, let me show you guys. Here. Let me plate up the pesto. Oh, yeah, it looked great in this. Hell yeah, dude. Let's put in the fucking Overwatch. Bull. Murky. I don't know why it says Overwatch, but is Murky in Overwatch? I don't think he is. All right, so... Ballerinos! Alright, next on the docket, we're gonna we're gonna put this so I'm gonna use this pesto. I'm gonna use this pesto for later. Um ba -da -ba. Do -do 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 do do I'm just cleaning off the mortar and pestle failures. And now we can make uh, we can make that, that dip I was talking about. So, again, just let me reiterate something. I know you might be thinking, like, well, why are you making a dip? You already made pesto. They do the same thing. So you want to use this pesto for, like, use it for a pasta or use it for a main course, like some fish or chicken or whatever else. You can even stir it into some mashed potatoes. You can make risotto and you can stir it in at the end of the risotto and just let the carryover. So once you take the risotto off the stove, you can let the carryover cooking from the pesto do the rest of the work. So if you're gonna, like, let's say you're gonna finish the risotto. So you finish the risotto with cream, you give it a stir, then you add that pesto. And like, remember what I said? The, this pesto and the last one would work really well in a cream sauce. So screw the sauce. You take that risotto that you finished with cream. The cream mixes with the pesto as you stir it around and the carryover cooking releases all the extra flavor of the, anyway, you know. All right. Yeah. We didn't get that much yield though. <laughs> Not that much yield, fellers. Look at, <laughs> look at how much this made. I mean, it's enough for like, a full course meal and then you eat it over the course of a week but you want to see how much pesto we made See, you make it a big risotto, you make big potatoes, you make whatever. Stir it in, and it'll last you a week. So it looks small, but the flavor is so condensed that it'll be good. And I'm going to use it, actually. So I'm going to use it for something. All right, so what are we making now? We are going to make the... Ooh, this will actually be fun, guys. This will be fun. Look, we're going to make this camera way bigger. You ready? That's way bigger. All right. We're gonna move this over here and we are gonna get some peppers out. Who likes peppers? Hands in the chat. We're gonna roast. Who in the chat likes peppers? Oops. <laughs> I almost stopped my stream because the pepper rolled on it, or rolled on my laptop. All right, so we're gonna roast peppers over an open flame. Who likes open flames? Let's burn this 
place to the ground. I hate this house. Hopefully my insurance company ain't watching. You know what? We could make some... No. Never mind. I was gonna say we could make some risotto. One day, guys, hopefully, if we get a few more McDonald's sponsorships, I can move to a better house with a bigger kitchen and do cooking shows all the time and not hate myself. peppers on an open flame in the chat. Anyone? Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. <sighs> I guess we'll store this cheese. Alright, fuck this kombucha. peppers over an open flame. Um, you can do it in the oven if you want to. Guys, you should actually see, if you can, if you look close, here, wait, wait, maybe I can, look what my other camera is sitting on, look. Look at my butt. Agárrenlo! Oh, is the fireman going to go out? That's a safety hazard, people. Where's my tongue? Miller? We got flame. Flame on! Uh oh, my smoke alarm's definitely gonna go off. Yeah! Hell yeah, dude! Yeah! Let it cook! Bro, let it cook! Yeah, bro, let it cook, bro! Fuck yeah, dude! Let it cook! some bits if a big fire behind me happens while I wash the dishes. Because I won't be able to see or hear it. want to know how to cook without hating dishes well things cook do them oh shit it's on fire oh fuck dude oh shit all right so what should we put in this uh so broskies and hoskies or uh that's not a good name for the ladies uh ladies um
Thank you, Drizzle. Yeah, yeah, I will definitely put it up there. Thank you, Snake. Oh, thank you, Larksa, for the raid. Thank you. How was your stream? And thank you, Snake. Um, so let's get some cream cheese. Uh, what else should we put in this? We should probably fry up some onion. Maybe. Actually, I don't know. We'll see. So let's get some cream chisel. Ooh! Wait. There's some. There's an important ingredient. I don't know. <sighs> I do have some cooked chicken. I could make some risotto and do the do everything I talked about. Larxio, guys, from the Larxio chat, does Larxio ever let it cook? Thank you, Cray. What's the song from? I can't even hear the music. I hope you guys like the mic. Is the mic okay? I just bought the mic today. Yo, med unit. It's pretty good. Let it cook. Yeah, I was, I was hoping for pretty. <laughs> At least pretty good. Good would have been bad, but pretty good? Pretty good. Wait, good might be worse than pretty good. Oh, fuck. I need to get some new dishes and stuff. I do not have a great, like, anything for cooking shows, really. Like, storing... Storing like an ounce of lemon juice in a massive like soup bowl, not my finest work. those peppers in this bowl and we're going to saran wrap the bowl and it'll steam in there and the, the stuff will be uh, I had a clip on wireless mic it sort of sucked but yeah it's hard to um, this mic does the trick like this mic doesn't drive me furious so that's good also my kitchen like if I were to do cooking shows often I don't know we'll see I'll have to look at how the stream did after the stream and if it did well, I'll do some more. Oh, fellas. You, yeah, get reacting. Get reacting, fellas. in the air fryer nice I don't have an air fryer I can't fit anything else into my kitchen really um, there's no space 930 that's early enough for coffee some asparagus we could do some asparagus risotto I think I have I have Asiago cheese okay yeah asparagus risotto we could use the lemon zest for it and some of the pesto 
Thoughts on air fryers? Yeah, they're fine. I've never used one. But. Oh, nice, uh, Matt Loth. Oh, shit. I do have a fire extinguisher. I do have a fire extinguisher. How often do I change my sponges out? Well, like once a week. It depends how often I'm cooking. Thank you, Drowned. Just buy roasted red pepper already made. Because <laughs> the effort, well, the effort can be worth it, but not always. Depends on what you're making, honestly. Ouch! What happened? Bits for the grocer rebuild. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sky, for the 500 bits. Thank you. Burning blanket is the best for a kitchen fire. Okay, I'll remember that. Fire extinguisher is fire? Nah. That's an old wise tale. That's an old wise tale. That's not an old wise tale, by the way. Look what we're getting back, guys. My food processor. And your special guest is back in business the food processor. Processor. Sister. Sister. Here we go, go, go. Here we go. I haven't done this in a while. There's probably a much more optimal method for this, but here we go. I'm spooning in my. Oh shit. I'm spooning in my eggplant. I know the more optimal method. My hands. Hey, get back here. So you, I think you can put the skin in. I, I, I'm, I'm almost positive uh, eggplant skin is very edible. Um, but I've never liked it in this. It just adds a weird texture. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Roast 
the red pepper and eggplant dip. Oh, don't cry, guys, don't cry, don't cry. Uh, I don't know, it, it depends, Arbor, not much from where I worked. Yo, my Karuba. Holy shit. Uh, all right, so what should we add to this? We're gonna add some garlic. Let's do two garlic cloves. Uh, I forget what I put in this, actually. Um, let me get some parsley from the garden, actually. I wonder, here, guys, I actually have a genuine question for Chad. Shervil. I have shervil in my garden, uh, a herb, but I've never, I don't think I've ever used it. Is it good? Well, I guess I could bring some in and taste it, but, um, is shervil very versatile? Kinda like chives, really. I'll go get some, I'll be right back. some thyme and some chervil yeah here's the chervil here's what it looks like it's like hmm smells decent it smells like I don't know actually I'll give it a taste Tastes like... Hmm. It tastes like a very, very subtle, very weak fennel. Like liquor, like black licorice. Yeah, that would work well in that. I'm just gonna throw it in. It'll be fine. Um, yeah, we'll just throw it. We'll give this a wash. We'll give this a wash. Um, we'll give the parsley a wash. We'll give the thyme a wash. We'll just put them all in. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, the t actually, sometimes time stems. Sometimes time. Sometimes time stems can be a little, uh, a little hard, and you can sometimes get some soft time as well. But uh, yeah, this is pretty hard stemmed. So I'm just gonna break off the leaves. And sometimes when you're when you're pulling off the leaves, and if some of the stem comes with it, usually that's a sign that the stem is soft enough to use. I'm not washing the time, but I will wash this. Oh! All right. Cool. Whew. 
Okay. So, uh, Time is a bit overpowering, Imo. Oh yeah, time is overpowering. That's why you only want to use a little bit when you put time in something. Rosemary too. See, so you know what blows my mind? You know, you know, okay, sometimes this works, but here's something to think about. People all the time make rosemary bread, okay? Where sometimes it's good and sometimes it isn't good. And this is why. Some herbs and spices, two things, they require a lot of heat to get all the, all the flavor out and to lose that really harsh bite it has. Rosemary is one of those ingredients. Rosemary is a herb that you need to heat it to very high temperatures for it to actually be like tasty, to be edible in a good way. So putting like rosemary, let's say I put in three leaves of rosemary into this, it would completely overpower it because there's no heat. And also raw rosemary is like, it has a bite worse than garlic. So yeah. So. So why I mentioned bread is like people make rosemary focaccia, for example, and they don't roast it long enough. And then when you bite into it, it's like all you taste is the rosemary. It's like, all right. But yeah, so for, for things that you're thinking like, oh, this is overpowering, add less of it or chop it up even finer or apply a higher heat. But yeah, I would never add a lot. If you add too much time to this, it would take over the whole dish. But I add just a little bit. Oh yeah, that's a classic. You, you. What's the best? What's the dish? Well, rosemary is really good with beef. Like rosemary is really good with beef. If you're making like a even even like a, a brown sauce, like if you're doing like garlic and onions and rosemary over the stove, and then you deglaze with red wine, like that's a simple base for a good sauce. And even that, even even a, even that alone, if you bring that, if you reduce that, it's a great sauce. Um, but rosemary is really good for just any high heat cooking, really. Rosemary can go with chicken. It, I think the main thing people think with rosemary is beef. Uh, I'm trying to think of the weirdest thing I use rosemary for. I've used rosemary in salad dressings, but see, thinking back to what I said, I used it in salad dressings very, very, very finely cho chopped up, like almost to a powder. And those salad dressings were very, um, very acidic. So that acidity will reduce the bite because you're, you're because you're breaking down the herb to such a small level that then it gets affected by other ingredients that break it down even more more like like the acidity from a salad dressing will break it down enough that it gets rid of that bite but it, get, it ex extracts that flavor that you are generally looking for makes sense mm-hmm Rosemary goes really well with, with potatoes as well. Yeah. All right. I got to use the bathroom while these peppers steam. That bowl is hot as shit. All right. Once I get back, we will peel these peppers. We'll make this. And then maybe I'll make one more thing. Oh, my God. Four hour, four hour cooking stream. We're going for my longest cooking stream ever. Actually, I think my longest cooking stream was like eight hours because I made lasagna. Because chat really wanted me to make lasagna. And I was like, guys, if I make lasagna... It's literally going to be me cooking for like a couple hours and then me standing here for like three hours doing just chatting. All right, I'll be right back really quick. Boom! Hey, guys! All right, I don't know what music is playing because I, um... Well, these are still going to be hot as shit. I, uh... I just put on a random YouTube playlist. Is this even going to be possible? Is there a better way to do this? I haven't done this in a while. Oh wait, no, this is okay. They're just a bit... I could just put some cold water on them. One sec. I think putting cold water on them is okay. I can't remember. Okay as in like it won't make the skin stay on better. Let's see. I'm about to figure something out. Come on, don't fuck this up. Let's see. Let's see if it still comes off. 
You guys can't see what I'm doing, but you're about to. Hey, Paisanos. I'm, I'm peeling peppers, look. I'm getting all that black shit off of there. Look, there we go. Whoa, it's coming off real easy. Damn, girl. Damn, girl, it's coming off real easy. Shit's just coming right off. All right, there we go. One done. Next. Hoochie mama, this is hot. Hoochie mama. Hoochie, poochie, hoochie, moochie, hoochie, poochie. Hoochie mama. Yow, holy frick. Whew, yo. Hot tamales, bro. So I'm going just to, if you guys can't see, I'm going to remove the tops. Just take out the middle and the yellow. Do I still have a garbage container? I do. I do. Take out the white. So much waste, I know. Don't shop at a grocery store if you don't want to support that. All right, so, bada bing, bada boom. Oh wait, we don't have to waste it. I just don't want any of the, the black stuff. Cause that's not good for you, Skeeter. Good enough, all right, next. Ready? Roasted red pepper. Roasted red pepper dip, everyone. Very, very versatile. You can use it on wraps. You can use it in a in a freaking lasagna. You can use it to finish your chili. You, can, you can't abuse it though. Don't abuse it. All right, so, hog champ, get in there. All right, all right, all right, Skeets, are you ready? Thank you, Iguana. All right, which button? Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? It's this one. All right. Ready, guys? Are you ready, kids? I can't hear you. Are you ready, kids? Oh, who lives in a Twitch stream starring a chicken? Now you guys say your names really loudly. Philadelphia cream cheese. The taste you can see. Dude. Um, oh, oh, thank God you guys can't see this. I'm opening it backwards and it's causing some fucking issues. Oh my God, just open, bro. Jesus Christ. You know what? I'm gonna throw in the whole square at this point. All right, throwing some cheese, cream chisel. Cream Dizzler. 
Yeah, that should be good. All right, cream dizzle, cream chisel, dude, cream chiseler, the chiseler, the cream dizzler. All right, we're gonna throw in. You know, I would like to just use this Parmesan cheese because it's bothering me that it's just sitting here. So I'm gonna just shave off the skin. You guys can't see the tech. But it's epic. Ow. Just throw the Parmesan in there because oh, it'll be fine. All right. Uh, now for the Dizzler. That's more cream chisel. Yeah, I'm throwing the whole fucking nah. Let's put a little more in. Taste it. Ooh. So it'll it'll thicken up in the fridge. It's just one of those things that'll thicken up. Ooh, it looks good. It smells good. Oh yeah, I forgot we put the I forgot we put chervil, parsley, and thyme in this. The color is really good. All right, let's see. All right. So. Pepper, 100%. It needs some acidity, and guess what? I don't even care. Look, this is how, this is how you cook. You know that lemon juice just sits in here, not measured. Fuck it, bro. Fuck it. throw in the rest of the cream cheese so now it's quite lemony but it's not overpowering the other flavors so we need something to enhance the other flavors which we're gonna throw in one more clove of garlic and uh, some high protein yogurt.
add some protein to this. Oh, fuck! Oh, no. I forgot to buy the lactose-free version. I don't feel like taking a lactose pill for this every time. second one and it's lactose free and it expires tomorrow bro Woohoo! yeah fuck yeah dude but unopened stuff doesn't act it doesn't so expiry date big fucking con like expiry dates are just there so you don't sue the company uh, no that's not why they're there but we're gonna do a big heaper you know why i'm doing a big heaper by the way you know i'm putting a ton in because I definitely can't eat this whole frickin' thing before, like, next Sunday, you know? Um, Alright, so we're taking some risks. I've never added yogurt to this in my life. Let it cook, bro! Let it cook! Let it cook, dude! Let it cook! Let it cook! Chili flakes, hey! Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, you know what I was staring at though. Actually, I did think it needed some heat, and I was staring at this jalapeno. Hmm. To add the jalapeno, let's just add it. Fuck it. I want to take up the seeds, though. Ready? Let it cook. Okay. So we're adding the jalapeno. Alright, this thing needs to blitz up a storm. Okay. One sec. I need to actually wash my hands. Hey, Billis! How are you? Oh, really? Oh, that's awesome! What? You, you're crazy! Oh my god! That's insane, dude! Really? Oh, I'm so proud of you, man. You worked your ass off for this, and, you know, you finally got it. And, you know, it's, it's times like this that are meant for celebrating. Guys, you know what? What's tomorrow? Does anyone know what tomorrow is? I'm about to lose my cool if you guys don't know. I'm about to lose my cool. It's Canada Day! That's right! Oh, shit! It's Canada Day! No, I did the marathon yesterday! Can you hear me? Blitz already, a piece of shit! There is no way I can eat all this in like a week. Alright. 
Tastes good. You know what I'm going to do? How about we mix it with a pasta salad? Oh, that sounds great, Bob. Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. Plant-based chickpea organic pasta. 23 grams of protein. Broskies. This combination is going to make you huge. The protein in this. The protein, dude. By the way, if you make this... Oh, guys, here. Let me zoom in on a really important thing. Can you see? Can you read that? <laughs> um, I don't follow the rules, fellas. I don't follow the rules. That's how I cook. Why is there two? Why is no? Uh, waste of water, bro. We can't wait. Can you read it? It says max liquid fill, and I doubled it. Give it to the next person and double it. That's just there so they don't get sued. Yeah. You guys are catching on quick, as expected. You and I both know where we come from. Like you guys, I'm a Canadian. Oh, Canada. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna turn this into pasta, all right? What do you guys think? Is it a genius idea or a terrible idea? I don't, I've never used this as pasta sauce, by the way. Mix it with a little bit of mayo, she'll be fine. It doesn't even need to be mayo. Oh, fellas, fellas, fellas. Meal prep for the week. I also bought this huge baguette, um, but we didn't get to cook it with anything. The other camera. Fuck. Is there still music playing? Whoa, this playlist is long as shite. Do -do 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 -do. Thank you, silent scream. So if you make this, by the way, if you if you if you take this recipe and try and make it yourself, don't put all that lemon juice in there. You're doing yourself a disservice. Put like a tablespoon. Let it heat up. But we're gonna mix it with this pasta. It's gonna be great. I haven't had pa I have not had pasta in a long time. Like pasta. Pasta. I have not had pasta in a long time. I used to eat it all the time, but some TikTok videos turned me off. But uh, so now I always buy the one that's not made with flour. Thank you, Ninja Monkey. Thank you, Dante. Thank you, Divine Slash. This is gonna be way too much sauce for that pasta. So ooh, okay, wait, wait. So let's see, how how is the nutrition value of this sauce? So cream cheese, bad. Eggplant, red pepper, garlic, lemon juice, jalapeno. I didn't even try it after the jalapeno. Mmm, way better. Mmm. 
Um. Yeah, not bad. Lots of herbs in there too. Not really spicier. A little, little bit of a kick, but not really much. It's just one jalapeno. Yeah, I think we can make this work. Maybe I will try and do more cooking shows, so I'll just leave this set up here. Guys, you should actually see what my camera is sitting on. I have, I have a coffee bean grinder, and the camera is sitting on top of it. I do not have the tools to do a cooking show. But I'll make it work, damn it. I mean, you could... My camera is not only sitting on that box, but that box is over uh, a paper towel roll. Maybe next time we try Abanero. Yeah, maybe next time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. All right. All right, fellas. Let's give her a try, shall we? Mm -hmm. So this is really good, okay? But it would be god tier if I added slightly less lemon juice, but I just didn't feel like putting it in the fridge. It's still really good, by the way. Mmm. Oh, here you go. Can I make a, a curry? Yeah. I should cover the pot. It's not as exciting to watch though. <laughs> Would I want to be on a cooking competition show? Um, no. Cause like I know how to cook really well, but the thing is, I don't like doing something competitive unless I put my 100% all into it, like 12 hours a day plus. As a streamer, I just don't have the time. Mm. Really good though. Mm -hmm. Man, you know what? God, I might even prefer this with the lemon. It's really, it's actually really good. Like the bread really balances out that flavor. Mmm. Yeah, see that, this is the bonus of living by myself. I rarely use a plate for <laughs> for anything. I mean, why would I? Like, why would you? I feel like that is so... Oh, just so, so stupid. Like, oh, I know. I'll dirty a plate, use extra water, and use my extra time to clean that plate. For what purpose, you ask? I don't know. I'm really stupid. 
No, now then, when you add another person to the mix, that's when it gets that's when it gets interesting. Because it's not like then it's about respect <laughs> and <laughs> being respectful and uh, you know spreading germs and stuff. It doesn't matter right now. The bread. Oh, well, I ain't eating the pat. The bread was my meal. I, I don't eat much lately. Oh, shit. Always salt your pasta water. Make sure it tastes like seawater. Oops. How long does this take? Seven to eight minutes. Stirring frequently. By the way, they're always wrong in this shit. When it says seven to eight minutes, do six. Actually, you should taste it as you go along, but oh my god, man. By the way, so, if you really want to elevate this dish, which I'm going to, might not be on the stream, but uh, something that would go really well with this is some fresh ingredients like some more fresh herbs like get some more parsley in there uh some tomatoes god tier with this tomatoes really get that freshness um it'll cut the acidity as well really good um so once you mix this all together you're gonna want to add some fresh vegetables to it some red onion would be really good too uh even even some of the base flavors like cutting up the yellow pepper in there and adding that to the mix really good really good We're just going to put the cover on for a couple seconds. Yeah, I love making curry. I always do super random cooking shows. Like, uh... It's very rare that I'll, like, come and do, like, curry or just, like, I usually make a bunch of random shit. Just whatever comes to my mind. I'm like, yeah, let's just make this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's that sheet pan I had? We need to cool this pasta down. Did the music end? Does check be pass any good? I only tried it once, so we're about to find out. <laughs> Alternative pastas. Doi yo yo. It's boiling up a storm, dude. I've had many chefs come and taste my pasta water, by the way, and comment on if I salted it enough. So when I said make it taste like seawater, I was serious. It's stuff like that you never forget. Someone coming up and getting a spoon and tasting your fucking water. Like, your water's wrong. Okay, okay, I'll add some salt. Jesus Christ. But that's the kind of stuff that makes you good at whatever. When you make a dumb, like, when people hound you on the most 
innocent thing. And it's like, okay, I guess I gotta keep in mind every little fucking detail. Thank you, Baka Donut. Thank you. By the way, the chickpea pasta does not have, it's, it's very, it's different. It's like different to the point that you'll be like, this is not pasta, pasta. What the fuck you wanna call it, dude? Uh, is it? it oh, I know salty pasta water is important to season the pasta while it cooks, but do people ever put other non-salt stuff in there? Yeah, you can. Um, you can, like, sometimes I get crazy. If I, like, I could have added the fennel into there, really. Or, like, if I had any, like, asparagus stalks. It just depends. Usually with pasta water, you don't really do much to it. Or I don't. Um, but, like, if I'm making, like, uh, if I'm doing... Pulled pork, let's say. If I'm making pulled pork, like when I put it into the oven, let's say I just have water stock. I'll put like, you know, bay leaves and thyme and peppercorns and chili flakes and garlic and onions and carrots and celery. I'll just put whatever the fuck is in my fridge. If I had that fennel, I'd put the fennel in there. I'd put the asparagus stems in there. I'd put leftover carrot peelings in there. And then just whatever, like anything to make the broth just more flavorful. Like when it comes to using a broth to season something that's being cooked in it, and then you're going to discard that broth later, you can put whatever the hell you want in there. Like, obviously, don't start dumping like, you know, don't get the balsamic vinegar out and, and the freaking like cayenne pepper and stuff, you know, but... When it comes to just aromatic ingredients, add whatever the hell you want. You can throw in as much garlic, onions, and carrots as you want. It's, it'll just be more flavorful at the end of the day. Especially if you're using it just as a base. Like, it, if let's say, let's say the, the freaking pork, the pork roast can't even breathe. It's, it's surrounded in vegetables. And then you boil it. Well, it doesn't matter what in flavor you infuse it with. If you're making, like, a flavorful sauce to go with it, it'll just enhance the flavor of the sauce. Like, it, the water can't get flavored enough to the point that it'll overpower the dish, you know? Unless you put stuff like really, really crazy stuff in there. Like if it's boiling in a in a pot of sesame oil, then yeah, you're fucked, but uh, I don't know. I mean it just depends, Rig. Like Depends how optimal you want to be with your with your nutrition. Pasta's not necessarily bad for you. Beep beep boop. So that'll just cool the pass the pasta down real quick. The bear. I haven't seen that yet, no. But I watched the hog or the the, the pig or whatever. Where's the chef's hat? I don't think I have one. I have this hat. You guys like this one? What do you think? You like that? What do you think? You don't pour cold water on pasta after boiling to prevent further cooking. What I did to prevent further cooking was I took it off the heat and put it on that cheap pan one minute before the instruction said to.
But yeah, you can do that too. I, I, I thought I learned that there's like a reason you shouldn't pour cold water on pasta. I think it, I can't remember exactly what it does. Maybe nothing. I don't know. Maybe it's an old superstition. It makes it cold. <laughs> but like, all I know, all I know is every restaurant I've ever worked at, it's something I've never even really asked, or I can't remember, because it didn't matter or something, but every single restaurant I've ever worked at always, always put cooked pasta on a sheet pan. Every place. And school as well. And it's just one of those things that's like, it's just one of those things that if they're going through all that extra work to do that, like, you know, the first thought you would have as like a, a human with a functioning brain, when you see someone take something hot and they, and it can be cooled with water in seconds, but instead they spend 20 minutes cooling it and dirtying an extra dish. So you see them do that. My first thought is just like, all right, well, if they're not doing the simplest thing ever, there must be a reason for it. Oh yeah, pasta water is awesome. If I wasn't making shoot. If I was making an actual hot dish, I would have saved some, but the tour of the pad, I would have to switch it to a mobile stream. Is this cool yet? Well, here, let's see what it's, let's see what it's going to taste like. Poggers. Hmm. Yeah, this, I pretended to dip it there. This would be awesome. Um, so this is way too much sauce for that pa pasta, but overnight, you know, it will absorb some. And on top of that, tomorrow, I'm going to add a bunch of fresh ingredients to it. So, pasta. Um, wait, did I? Yeah, so if you missed it earlier, we made a big, we made a big bean salad. Bean salad, fellas. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Big bean. Big bean. You hear that? Wait. Okay, wait, wait, here. I'm going to make a song for you guys. Ready? It's not working, but it's all right. It would have been <laughs> it would have been a good one. Now to clean. I'm, I've, basically the place is like clean. It's just cleaning up the stream shit is the problem. Um, all right, it's cool enough. Let's make the salad. It's cool enough. Let's make the salad. 
By the way, guys, tomorrow's stream. <laughs> so it's Canada Day. I won't be doing a super long stream. Because um, I always do stuff on Canada Day. But uh, Callisto Protocol DLC. Can we get some poggers in the chat? Callisto Protocol. Story DLC, by the way. Story DLC. I'm doing the caveman method. Caveman method. Alright, I might I might have to reserve some of this sauce. I don't think she's all gonna fit. I don't think she's all gonna fit in this bellers. Happy words, yeah, brother Spike Walls, baby. Yeah, spike walls. God, I hope there's spike walls in the DLC. There has to be. They're they're a staple of uh, of Kalisto. So you don't want to be too rough when mixing this, because the chickpea pasta breaks pretty easy. It's not really doing too well with the sauce. Like it's a little hard to mix. I'm a. I worked as a garmage or garmage chef for like three years. And we didn't, back then, you never use like chickpea pasta. So I'm like, I'm really good with normal pasta, but with this stuff, it's like, ugh. That should be good. That should be good. All right. You know what? Let's just complete the dish now. I don't ha I, I do, okay, so I have tomatoes in the fridge, the one I cut earlier, but they're sort of gone bad. I don't want to use them in this. It would potentially ruin it. All right, so we're done with this. Wait. We're done with that. Ugh. Um, so, was I doing? Oh yeah. Uh, so we're going to, well, uh, sure. there's actually some nice chunks. Like the sauce is pretty chunky on the top here. It's actually great to add to this. bought me when I when I went into culinary school and it's actually shocking every year I think I'm like I think to myself I'm like man I want a new food processor but this one just does the trick baby thank you Tabaski thank you thank you thank you again Zan uh, one second there's music playing right okay so we're going to red onion Just use this. Actually, no, I would like a little bit more. This is not how I cut onion ever, but I don't want to use the whole thing. So, okay, that's good enough. We're gonna take it. We're just gonna. Oh, I'm gonna cut it in half. We're gonna cut it like this.
I did like no cut. I forgot the thing people like watching the most is the cutting. It's the cutting. And I did like no cutting today. This is a juicy ass onion. Holy shit, dude. It's like squirting. It's alive. All right, what else are we gonna add? Here, let's add some of the green onion. Huh? And then we'll add some, I don't know, fellas. I don't know. I don't have much vegetables left. I have the kale outside. We can add the pepper. Uh, I don't know. I don't have any vegetables left. I guess we could add the pepper and the green onion. We're gonna be oniony, but that's okay because we didn't put any onions in the actual sauce and onions go well with like everything so it's gonna be perfectly fine um i guess we could do a little bit of the pepper Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks like tuna salad almost. <laughs> not the most, it's not the most appetizing looking, I gotta say. But I'm sure it'll taste great. I mean, you can make it look great if you plated it up. But there it is. All right, let's try it. Okay. Let's see how it tastes. I'm excited. Mmm. I need some pepper. I need something. It really needs something fresh. Like, like I said, I wish I had tomato. I'm just going to grab some herbs really quick. some nasturtiums because <laughs> I still have a fuck ton. <laughs> I'm going nasturtium crazy, bro. And I also grabbed some, uh, some parsley. <sighs> These need to be dried. That suck. Not because I know that that is, you're thinking that hypocritical, oh, that's, uh, the opposite of what you said earlier. I couldn't think of the word. But no, I just didn't want to slip and cut myself while I was cutting these because they're pretty slippery. All right, here we go. Alrighty, let's see how it is. I only grabbed like two nasturtium leaves because they can be, uh, the red herbs are a full heal, yeah. So this will taste way better tomorrow morning because it's still a little warm, yada, yada, yada. And, uh, I thought I would put this way for it. Doesn't matter. All right, let's try it out.
Mmm. Really, really good. You guys would love it. If you like all the ingredients I put in there, you'll love it. Um, but, uh, yeah, tomatoes would, would bring it to the next level. Or even like, even like if you cut out the seeds of a cucumber and just put in the hard crunchy part, that would make it. It needs, it needs, like, it's great right now. Those herbs were a great addition, um, but it definitely, it needs some freshness. There it is, there it is. Can you see it? Oh, wait, I got, I got this. There you go, look at that. That was good, all right. All right, fellas, all right. All right. Yeah, it's really good. Look at that mouse pad. <laughs> There's like nasturtium on it. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm nasturtium crazy, bro. I'm nasturtium crazy. I made uh, two different things of pesto. I made a roasted red and, and orange pepper and eggplant dip which then turned into a salad dressing which now i have a pass of salad with that stuff in there and i made a bean salad so uh it was like it was like uh black eyed peas maybe there we go the garbanzo beans black eyed peas snap peas sh uh, sugar snap peas snow peas uh chopped kale what else went in there with a maple balsamic vinaigrette and then um yeah, that's it. And I did it as slowly as possible. He cooked. And you know what we can use the rest of this dressing for? I got set this Canada. Maybe I can hound some people to come to my house and eat some of this shit. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow, though. Like, like I said, I am definitely doing... What's it called? What's that wiener game? Kalisto Protocol. Look, I have a Kalisto Protocol. Kalisto Protocol sent me a care package when the game came out with a mug. And um, and that mug sat in my entryway for about a month. And then they sent me a Ouch. massive box that had a, the, you know the, you know the stun blade? What's the difference between a garbanzo bean and a chickpea? I've never let a garbanzo bean on my face. Oh, yeah. Um, well, now I lost a train of thought. Oh, yeah, they sent me the the stun gun, okay, or the stun baton, and when I opened it, it was in a massive case. It must have cost, like, frickin' 50 bucks to ship. When I opened it, it was in, it was broken in two pieces. I was like, all right. That's very fitting. Thank you, Krusty, and thank you, Ariel Zinn. Thank you. It's on sale, Pog. Just like the game, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, all right, I don't feel like making the risotto or anything else. I'm tired. It took me four Ouch. hours to even set this up, but now I have the setup. I have the camera installed. I have the mic. Why does Dr. Dr. Pepper come in a bottle? Because his wife died. Oh shit! Shit! Thank you, sir. Ah, uh, I can't wait for some Kalisto. Do, 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 do. One second. One second, garbanzo beans. Oh my god, guys. If you fried off that bread I showed earlier, this one. If you fried off this bread with some olive oil, all right, and maybe some Parmesan cheese on top, Ouch. broiled it on. Woo. What's the difference between an oral and rectal thermometer? The taste. Yikes, dude! And then dipped it in here, it'd be really good. That's true! Reply is truing right now. Do, 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 do. Oh shit. 
I don't know any more cooking jerks. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes, dude. All right. Let's wrap this bad boy up, shall we? Holy moly. By the way, the reason I don't want to make any more food Is cause uh yeah I already ouch <laughs> I already have a fuck ton of stuff. Which to friends eat. should you always take out to dinner? Your taste buds. Wait, what did you say? Which friend should you always take out to dinner? Your taste buds. Fucking epic jokes, guys. Epic jokes. My god. The jokes. Come on, Chad. Give me some more. Here, if you guys can make me laugh. If you guys can even make me laugh once, I'll make another thing. But if it's before I... It's gotta be before I put all these dishes away. Streamer laugh. Challenge. Impossible. The wedding was so beautiful. Even the cake was in tears. Did you know the first French fry wasn't made in France? It was cooked in Greece. That was actually a pretty good one. You almost got me. You almost got me. You almost got. Thank you, by the way. Every last, ELD guys, every last drop. EL Dizzle. For Rizzle, my shizzle. EL Dizzle. Ugh. All right. <gasps> Oops, I forgot to take a picture of anything to put on Instagram. Nice. I'm the best Instagrammer. In Japan and Southeast Almost Asia famous. is a Japanese horror game media franchise created by Capcom. It consists of survival horror, third-person shooter and first-person shooter games, with players typically surviving in environments inhabited by zombies and other frightening creatures. The first Resident Evil Happy Words was created by Shinji Mikami and Dr. O. Fujiwara and released for the PlayStation in 1996. It's still going on. 1996. Wish I was alive for that year. Was it a good year, guys? Anyone in chat know? Was that a good year? How was it? Tell me everything, guys. One second, I'm almost, I'm almost done, fellas. One sec. One second, the beautiful Twitch chat. One second, fellas. Don't cry, I'm almost back. Get in there, you piece of shit. Ouch. All jokes aside, this was a super awesome stream. Oh, thank you, AB. 
Thank you. Oh, thank you, everybody. Thank you. I'll be here all day. You know, that was my joke. I'll be here all day. I'm not going to be streaming all day. I'll be here all day. I'll be here all day. Streamer is scraping every last drop from the bowl like he'll be scraping every last content for Callisto DLC Wait, tomorrow, am I happened? right? Oh shit dude! Thank you AV for the hundred gifted subs! Holy shit! Thank you, Jesus Christ! Thank you so much! Alright, I gotta do these cookie shows more often! Holy shit boy! Oh Jesus Christ! I gotta do this shit more Still often! Around. Jesus Christ dude! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. What's the difference between a cooking thermometer and a rectal thermometer? The taste. Yeah, we heard that one. Thank you. Holy shit, dude. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Thank you for the 200 gifted sub. Jesus Christ, I gotta do this shit more often. Holy fuck, dude. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah, dude. Cooking streams every... I'm the fuck, fuck games. Am I right? Fuck games. Jesus. That, that almost enough for me to pay for all the paper towel I use to stream. <laughs> that has been super fun, Bob Hyper. Thank you, thank you. Um, Jesus Christ, holy Christ almighty, god damn, girl. Jeez, thank you so much, holy shit. Thank you, god damn, 200, fellas, did you see that? Make sure to thank AV if you got one of the 200 gifted subs, let's go. Okay, don't fall. All right. Thank you, though. Jesus. Mur Murphy. Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, Jesus. My God. Holy shit. Jesus. Looking crazy, bro. Oh, my God. You guys see that dog that does that water? Hell yeah. Anything else? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Ouch! Yeah, ouch! What does a nosy pepper do? Gets jalapeno business. Oh! Thank you, though, AV. That's insanely generous. And thank you, everyone, for all the bits, too. You guys have been... You know, the chat was crazy active today. I feel like people were passionately into the stream. And um, all that matters to me is that I just hope people learn something. I like to, I love teaching cooking. I, and well, that's why I taught cooking classes. Because um, you know what? I loved getting taught how to cook. So it just uh, passed down for the people that taught me. Um, and I try and share the knowledge that not a lot of people talk about. Like people don't even grace the topics of the easy stuff because they just assume it's common knowledge. But as someone that fucking sucked at cooking when I w first went to culinary school, yeah, none of it's common knowledge. It's not common knowledge that if you don't put oil in a hot pan and throw onions in there that they're going to burn to a crisp. You know. Common knowledge is not so common. Holy shit. Oh, man. Let him cook. Yeah. Yo, Enigma. Oh, my God. Emulsion stabilizing vinaigrettes. There you go. There you go. Ouch. Yeah. Jeez, you guys are killing Richard today. Holy shit. Is this Resi 3 run? Graphics look different. Also cooking is my pee happy words. Thank you Bork for this stream. It's a knife only run bro. Well this is, this is, this is just a finger gun, but it's a knife only run. Knife only run. Watch this guys, you ready? What do you think? Pretty crazy, eh? How long can I go? That's, you know what I'll do? I'll do a subathon where I just go like this and I don't stop. I'm already tired, all right? I can't do that idea actually. Oh man. Carpal tunnel, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the, knife, the knife's just going to be like, I'm just going to be 
that's gonna be like hitting a glass, just a flat surface. The knife is gonna get squashed down to like nothing. Oh my god. I have never cut my fingers with my chef's knife, ever. Like, I have done some nicks and scrapes, but I've never, like, actually did a, a cut, like a brutal cut. Never, ever, ever. I'm very safe when I cut. Even when I'm not looking, even when I'm looking away. Hey, guys, how you doing today? Hey, welcome to the drip shop. Now, the scary thing is how I hold my knife is like this. People hold their knives differently. So you just got to make sure you don't hold it like this for a split second and cut your finger off. So I always hold it like that. Ouch! Ouch! Sorry for cheer span. Tips on flavor. How do you use citrus in dishes? Uh, thank you, 8-Bit Kid. How do I use citrus in dishes? Well, it depends what's going in the dish. Like, um... <clears throat> citrus. So, like... Citrus is hard to use. For the most part, I use citrus... Uh, for like fish or salads. It's really good in salads, but it's very hard to balance. If you're going to use citrus in a salad, you need like, you need some complex flavors and some, and some other textures like nuts. You need a nice soft cheese usually. Like that, I'm just saying, saying the basics, but um, yeah, like citrus, like, you know, you do clementine, supreme, or what are they called? Supremes? No, they're called, um, I think so. I can't remember. I can't remember what the, when you cut the part of an orange out, it's called a, uh, I can't remember. It's not a Supreme. It's a... What is it? Supreme. Oh, it is a Supreme. Oh, it is? Um, well, yeah. Like... No, zest is the outside of a... Of a... Thing. But, yeah, citrus is actually pretty tough. A segment. Yeah, it's a segment. Um... Or it's called something specific when you... When you cut... Like, when you actually do it correctly. God, I sort of want to search it out now. But yeah, it, citrus, that's a good question. Citrus is actually pretty tough to use. Um, like, if you're actually using it. Like, the juice goes in everything. But the actual citrus itself, it's really, really tough to use. It's good to finish off some, like, some sauces as well. Um, like, you can, you can put um, segments of, like, lemons or oranges and finish off, like, a cream sauce or um, stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. It's really hard to use the actual fruit, but it's great in salads though. Salads with like goat's cheese, goat's cheese, nuts, Ouch. and a segment of an orange. Go You've been there. very healthy lately, but any chance for a dessert stream around the holidays, <laughs> chef? No, I no, I will never cook a dessert on this stream. I hate baking. I hate it. I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it. And uh, last but not least, I'm not good at it at all because I don't do it. I've never, like, man, there were some shifts that they put me on as the baker. I wanted to kill myself. Not actually, but, um, god damn, dude. <laughs> it's just like, this sucks. Oh, uh, I was never good at either. And then, like, they put, when I say they put me as the baking chef, I mean that, like, it was really easy work, but, oh my god, I was so, I hated it so much. Oh, my god. I hate following a recipe. It drives me insane. I just don't enjoy... I don't enjoy following a recipe. Yo, yo, yo. Guys, tell me the difference. What's the difference? Let's look through Gordon Ramsay's cookbook for a sec. Malaysian curry, eh? No, let's look at something cool. Look at him. Look at him. Why is the only part of my... There we Ouch. go. Now he gets a brightness. I can detail difference. Pumpkin risotto. Okay. Bring stock to a boil in a separate pan. At uh, uh, garlic, onions. Toast the. Toast the rice while stirring frequently. Gradually add the stock. Finish with, I don't know, cream cheese or coconut milk or or cream. And other vegetables. All right. Let's see if I was right.
Gordon, please. Didn't, didn't toast the Arborio rice? Garbage. Ugh. Oh, fellas. Ooh. Thank you, Hobbit. Thank you, Feck Gore. And thank you, 8 Bit Kid. Straight to the trash, broskies. All right, guys. I've been streaming for five hours. A five-hour cooking show is like a 12-hour gaming stream. Where's the lamb sauce? All right, I'm Dunsky. If you guys want to follow me on social media, here are my accounts in the chat. If you want to follow the new Clips channel, guys, make sure to follow the Clips channel. We've been, me and Speezix, been working hard on it. I have a Final Fantasy review on my main channel as well. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It's spoiler-free. Um, this will probably be on the VODs channel. Maybe we can get some clips on the Clips channel. Maybe we can, maybe we can summarize the recipe to fit on the Clips channel. Huh? There's your reason to follow it, guys. All right. Thank you, though, everyone. Um, I will be back tomorrow with the, uh, what's it called? Thank you, Atomic Pixel Ninja. I will be back tomorrow with the Callisto Protocol DLC. <laughs> um... Good stream. Get some rest and chill. Thank you, guys. Uh, yeah, this was an awesome stream. I, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did, too. All right, I'm going... Oh, there hasn't been music playing for a while. Nice, dude. I did not know that. That's okay, though. All right. I'm going to find someone to raid, though. I cannot see the... Uh... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Uh, da, 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 da. Ouch! Yeah, ouch, dude! Thank you for the cooking stream. Bork dance, bork dance. Um, let's read up Kitty Rar. She's playing System Shock. I haven't raided her in a long time, I don't think. Alright, thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Hippo. Thank you, Big Deku. Ouch. And thank you, AV, for the 200 gifted subs. Holy shit! Thank you. And thank you. Everyone's been super generous this stream. Um, <clears throat> it's been really fun, guys. And I'm glad the kitchen's, like, mostly clean. It's mostly clean. Um, but I'm just going to... I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep my camera in here, and hopefully we can do another cooking show soon-ish. No promises. Um, but, yeah. Soon. Sooner than a year, like last time. But yeah, you guys watch this show a few times, you'll be pro chefs. It'll be easy. Cooking is very easy. You just got to pay close attention to the words that are coming out of my wiener. Okay? All right. Thank you, everybody. Um, I hope you all have an awesome night. Canada Today tomorrow and Callisto Protocol. So if I finish the Callisto Protocol DLC quickly, I'm going to run some RE3, I think. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to... Do some Canada Day shit. All right. Yeah, I will do it. I will do another cooking show soon. I have the mic. I have the camera. I got no excuses except this kitchen. That's my only excuse left. So, um, yeah. Yeah, we'll do a maple syrup day. Everything has to be cooked in maple syrup. I got to finish eating this shit first, by the way. All right. See you guys. Mm -hmm.